And I listen to them too. Most to the lungs and deep in the whole of the world. Uh, so, okay, so here, here's what we're doing. So, so Dan and Harrison are playing on standard difficulty, but they drafted their decks. We uh, did not draft our decks, but we're playing on hard difficulty, and we have two goals for this campaign. First goal, in Search for Kadath, we want to get all the signs, all the signs of the gods. Is 15 the maximum of them, I think? No, there's 10 signs of the gods. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's, uh, there's places to get evidence of Kadath, and I think you can get up to, like, 15. Okay, so we want to try to get all ten signs of the gods, which is very hard, but we're going to try to do it. And then in the fourth scenario, we're just going to try to beat uh, the the boss that we call Gnarly P, um, which is it, it doesn't it, for anyone who hasn't tried it yet. It does not scale very well with number of players, so it's pretty reasonable on like four player or three player. It's hard on two player and extremely extremely hard, borderline impossible in solo. So it's like super luck dependent on solo, I think. Yeah, two player, it's like hard, but it's doable. So those are our those are our goals: is on hard mode, try to get all ten signs, try to beat the last boss. Uh, we'll see if we get there. I, I I think we I think we hopefully we can do it. Um, should we anything else to say, or should we talk about our decks? Uh, well, technically, I have to read this whole prologue before we can build our decks, but uh, we, can, we can do the decks first, I guess. Oh, may we? May we? Thank you. Um, <laughs> do you want to talk about it? So Ben is playing Luke. Do you want to talk about this deck, uh, Ben? Uh, sure. So uh, I'm playing Luke. He's the new mystic in Dreamland that came from the Dream Eaters. Uh, he's got the ability where he can play events at adjacent locations. Um, I tried to build a deck that was able to both do clue support as well as contribute to handling enemies. Um, which is counterintuitive to our normal strategy in two-player, which is usually we do one person hard on enemies, one person hard on clues. But I mean, honestly, uh, we haven't. I, I haven't done two-player in so long that I barely even remember. But but yeah, I think uh, yeah. I mean, it's definitely true that we, we tried to make two decks that were kind of both hybrids because we thought the ability to split up and handle different parts of the map would be really good. So we weren't always sort of chasing around because some of these things like search for Kadath you're very limited on the amount of time that you have so you really don't want to waste time like running around to help somebody um sorry i didn't mean to i didn't mean to interrupt yeah no uh it's fine so uh yeah i am using a couple cards uh from uh jacqueline's deck which isn't technically released yet but i'm using the robes of endless night and the crystal pendulum to try them out uh, the pendulum seems like a cool uh math card uh, I, I, which I don't know say... if i'm gonna hard math I, do this, but. I would say it is arguably the most math intensive good card in the game as, <laughs> as of now so i don't know if i'm prepared to calculate the math every time i try to use it i might just say one every time and hope it's good enough but uh we'll, we'll see how it goes right so, so, but, uh, so just just to clarify so yeah so these are placeholders on arkham db because the investigator deck cards aren't out yet so this should be crystal pendulum and this should be the level zero robes of endless night Right. Yeah, but we have them available on this digital medium um, uh, that we're going to be using. So, uh, uh, yeah, so I have a slew of events just to make uh, use of Luke's uh, playing on recent locations ability. Um, let's him use his high mobility even to a greater extent if he can, like, go grab two clues up location nearby or hit an enemy that's we're trying to run away from or whatever. Uh, I put Knowledge and Power in here, which is uh, incredible. This is an incredible card. It's a really good uh, for card. mystics, unfortunately, most mystics can't take it. Um, it's also good in seekers that go like tome heavy, but uh, Luke happens to be a subclass seeker, so he can grab it, and it's great. And it's an event, which means he can also use it to uh, use his assets on adjacent locations as a fa as fast. I forget that it's fast every time; that makes it even better. Oh, you um, should <laughs> sorry. You should be careful when you import this to uh, reset it to a random base of weakness because you still have an old one in here. What? There's Are also you looking at the right deck. Oh, is this maybe, a, is the, one this an, I, the one I'm looking at has a random. Oh yeah. One. Also, didn't you switch to Mr. Rook? Yeah, you looking. I think you're looking at an old uh, an old deck I was building. Let me send you the link. You can fix that. Yeah, because okay. I do have Mr. Rook in my deck. This link is in uh, the description of the stream. I don't know if there's a. I don't know if you can change that on Twitch, but. 
I'll assign Dane to figure that out because Dane's watching the stream. Um, <laughs> um, anyway, so. Okay, here we go. Sorry, this is the. Oh, and Crystal Pendulum is in there. Okay, so this yeah. is a couple differences. You also put in an Astounding Revelation. Um, okay, yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, I threw in a stunning, I put Rook in there, so I figured I'd have at least one stunning violation for either getting money or putting a secret on Rook or putting a secret on Gatebox. Um, well, no, Gatebox is charges, right? Is it? Is it charges? It that's, is charges. That's, oh, that's slightly sad, yeah. but then I guess I guess that's we'll say forget anybody then. In um, Enraptured is secrets or charges. Recharge is charges. Um, Truth from Fiction is secrets, and Astounding Revelation is secrets. Uh, okay. Uh, it still helps me charge just a rook or gives me money when I need it. Um, but yeah, and then I also put the Hawkeye folding camera in here, which uh, Dan's always very skeptical of, but I think it, this pulls weight in Luke just because like you just need to get it one click to give him willpower, which is great. I, I think it's it really depends on the number of players. It's terrible in four player and it scales down from there. I think in two player, there's a pretty good argument for it. Um, especially where you're shouldering probably at least half the load of getting clues and you can use you can definitely use will like th that's the thing is usually people playing it are like seekers that are trying to get the intellect out of it which is harder to get because you need two evidence but if you mostly want it for the will then i think it's it's better for that yeah i mean it's mainly the will but the passive intellect to help some low shot locations so yeah the, use, uh, the passive charges. intellect is like a nice side bonus for you to save charges yeah. yeah, so uh, that's just my deck. Uh, I got Rook, a couple, couple assets, but mostly events. Um, what about your deck? Yeah, so my deck is Wendy. Um, so Wendy uh, is a pretty good hybrid character that can kind of do a mix of stuff. So similar to... I have, I have a placeholder. This should be the new Lockpicks level 0 from the Winifred Investigator deck. So the the goal of this deck is to be able to evade things, to be able to get clues... Um, and to be able to kind of like fill in and do what's necessary. Um, so it's going to change a lot. I'm going to get adaptable and I'm going to start swapping things in. I'm going to eventually get two Relic Hunters and I'm going to get two Moonstones because Moonstone is an incredible Wendy card. Um, at the moment though, I just have a uh, Lucky Cigarette Case, which is going to be kind of the main draw engine. Um, Lone Wolf is going to be really good here because we only have two players. So that's going to give me a lot of money. And then we kind of have like a mix of events so small favor is the one that's kind of weird that is basically to either take care of like four health enemies where we can do like or, or not not necessarily four health enemies but if there's like um if there's an enemy with three health maybe ben can shrivel it and i can small favor it or something or uh you know spectral ways or things like that um also there's cultists if you have like a one health thing that you really need to kill then that's what i'd use that for um i actually might last minute if i'm allowed to do this I might last minute swap out this small favor for something else and then adaptable it back in for the fourth scenario because the fourth scenario is the only one with cultists, right? Yeah. I mean, this ha this scenario still has like Zoogs that have one health and stuff. But they're swarms. That's the thing. They're, they're swarms, right? So I'd rather have like backstab or waylay for those. I guess, I guess we have a little of the decks, so I guess you can switch it up as you're falling asleep in the hospital while your friends are... Uh, no, yeah, we're not in the hospital. We're, we're, we're safely in our home, I think. I don't know. I'll be the prologue. Whatever. I'll, I'll let you. I'll let you figure it out. But anyway, so yeah. So I have. I. It's a fairly pricey deck, but I'm hoping that the lone wolf is going to really pay for a lot of it. Um, so hopefully that's going to do it. Uh, I might get the bow eventually, or I might upgrade to level one lock picks. I'm not really sure yet. Probably. Pro I'll probably go for level one lock picks, and not get the bow. But I don't really know. It's tough. Um, and then these cards, Guts and Mandex, I think are pretty good with the cigarette case because if you're committing stuff and you're like increasing your chance of succeeding by two, potentially Guts or Mandex can like kind of get you two cards because it can also trigger the cigarette case. So those should be those should be pretty okay. Uh, yeah, I'm a little worried about the cost of my deck. I think the robes help in the. I have a couple money cards, but if I don't get those, I might be I feel a little strained. But we'll see. Yeah. Uh, what should I what should I swap out the small favor for last minute? Uh, oof. Um, I don't have your deck open on my. I think computer. either I think either a guts or a. There's um. I mean, do you want something to stop uh, crypt chill? There's crypt chills in this. I am very worried about crypt chill. I think I'm gonna take a guts. 
Yeah. It's a boring card, but you know, the plus two is good. Yeah. All right. And I will, uh, well, I, I, I will adapt a little back in at least one small favor for where the gods dwell. All right. Well, while you do that, I will read this prologue because uh, our friends uh, Dean Harrison uh, did not read the prologue, uh, so I get to do it. What what, what nope. chumps? Yeah, they just skipped it. Like, who would skip story text? Um, so, I don't know if you, you can show it on the screen if people want to read along, or they can just listen to me fumble my way let's, through it. Let's um, let them yeah. listen to you, and I will load my deck in while you do this. Yeah, oh, uh, Dane has some suggestions in chat about what to put in your deck. Uh, no, you take, put take heart. Take heart sucks. I'm not playing take heart. It's a bad card. <laughs> All right, so uh, Friday, February 13th, 1925. Something odd was happening in Arkham, Massachusetts. Typically, this would not be a surprise to the residents of the dreary New England town. Indeed, Arkham has always been well known for its strange, some would say supernatural occurrences. The nature of this particular circumstance, however, was anything but typical. It all began the latest issue of Tales from Nevermore. A writer by the name of Virgil Gray described a journey he had taken in his dreams, a journey he claimed was not a work of fiction on his part. He wrote of a long, spiraling staircase, an unbearably hot pillar of sentient fire, a tree that came from the moon, and a curious talking cat. Among other things, equally difficult to believe. But it wasn't this extraordinary tale that first drew your attention. Soon after Virgil's tale was published in Tales from Nevermore, uh, it began, they began to receive and uh, publish letter after letter from those who had read Virgil's story and claimed to have experienced the exact same dream. Before long, the Arkham Advertiser picked up the story, the news of this strange phenomenon reached the ears of experts. Virgil Gray was convinced to undergo therapy at the local asylum, and many more who shared in the writer's psychosis were committed as well. The prevailing theory among academics is that Virgil's dream felt so real that he could not separate fact from fiction, and his writings spread his illusions to others like a form of shared hysteria. You remain unconvinced. After all, there is much that is not known about the simple act of dreaming. Medical experts have wildly differing theories on the state of one's brain during sleep. Recently, experts like Sigmund Freud have proposed that dreams are manifestations of one's subconscious desires, fears, or obsessions. Fortune tellers, for their part, have long believed that dreams can be sh uh, shifted and interpreted in order to tell the dreamer's past or future. But if these theories are true, how could multiple parties, all from very different walks of life, have the same shared experience in their dreams? What if our modern understanding of sleep is all wrong? What if there really is a place our consciousness travels to while we sleep, a land of dreams that exists beyond our waking world? You and your companions have gathered together to get to the bottom of this strange phenomenon. If others in town can travel to another world in their dreams, perhaps you can too. You've recreated the circumstances of Virgil's journey perfectly. If all goes well, half of you, Wendy and Luke, will take a trip into this dreamland and back. The rest, Zoe and Ursula, will stay in the waking world, studying your companions' sleep patterns, protecting them uh, from all harm and danger. Uh, and making sure nothing scary gets near them, especially spiders, uh, so that nothing can go wrong on your mission. What uh, what, what, what walk of life would you say you're on, Ben? Uh, uh, let's see. I'm Luke the Dreamer. I don't know what this guy's deal is. He wa probably wanders around, like, sleepwalking. He's probably sleeping all the time, I, just hanging out in his own, right? I imagine that he must be really into opium. Like, given the time of the 1920s, like, that's the drug that's available. Like, this dude is this dude is high a lot of the time, is my general <laughs> impression. But no, like, you always, you always hear this expression, oh, all walks of life. But, like, no one ever talks about any one specific walk of life. Like, what is a walk of life? I mean, you're like an orphan who's somewhere between the ages of 12 and, or maybe 8 and 22. We're not sure. Um, so you're like a street street kid, you know? I like or to maybe... think, uh, yeah, or I'm like one of those, um, I'm like a baseball player that like lies about his age or something. I'm actually like 22, but like, I, oh yeah, no, I'm 15 or something so that I can play high school baseball and be really good at it. Um, although Wendy's not actually good at baseball because she only has one combat to use the baseball bat with. <laughs> Uh, yeah yeah no this will this will be a this will be a fun adventure i think uh i think luke and wendy i think works pretty pretty well for like uh dream dream voyagers so that'll be that'll be cool so i see you loaded your deck in while i was talking what uh weakness did you get or do you want to keep it a surprise uh i'm pretty sure it is in the chat window i got mob enforcer all right um i got uh, drawing the signs looks like 
yeah, drawing the sign. It's not not too bad. Uh, and I'm swapping out my lock picks for uh, uh, correct lock picks because Ben will get mad otherwise. It's true. I will get mad otherwise. Uh, Where are the correct ones? Put them over here for you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, oh, I do have. I forgot to mention. I have arcane researches, so I do start with two uh, mental trauma. But uh, you know, we'll, we'll get like three extra experience over the course of the game, or six extra experience. So that's definitely worth it. That's worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, start with the gate box in play. Play with Luke. Uh, um, we... Before before you do opening your hands, I guess uh, I think you told me which stream you wanted to do, so you, you can probably do yours. But so uh, the start of this, uh, we are dreaming, um, Luke. Uh, this is Luke's dream. Uh, you traverse an enchanted path full of color and vibrancy. Wisps of light hang in the air, bobbing up and down as you approach. With each step you take, the floor among the path atrophy, following no laws of nature. Flowers once bloomed in your wake, now they shrivel as you pass. Vines wither and die. The wisps mock you for your ignorance, yet you do not slow your pace. As you look upon your, the fair trees, their leaves begin to fall. The once green grass is dry, brown and cracked. But even should the whole forest die, it will be worth reaching the other side. When you do, the trail ends abruptly at the ornate wooden door carved in the trunk of a great redwood. So I can switch my deck for a mystic card and play it, paying its costs. I'm actually going to grab those robes. Uh, so that's going to help me basically the whole game save money. Very uh, solid. And then Dan said he didn't want to do the... He said he didn't want to do with any of the dreams that were your traits or survivor. Just one of the bland, boring ones, right? So, uh, I mean, I think the extra money is going to be really great because I'm going to try to. I'm going to hope I have Leo in my opening hand, and I want to be able to play expensive Leo Deluca. All right. So yeah, you toss and turn. Just but in general, not... I need money a lot. So <laughs> yeah, uh, not even for a moment. Your mind is filled with discomfort and dark thoughts. Thoughts of failure, of ineptitude, of loss. Your brow is covered in sweat. No matter how do you lie, your bed is either too hot or too cold. Finally, sick of getting nowhere, you rise and head to the sink to splash some water in your face. This is when you realize the layout of your room is not as it was before. The door to your bathroom has been replaced with a large gateway, onyx and marble. Who moved my cheese? Did you move my cheese? <laughs> Do you have a stash of cheese in don't, your? Don't move my cheese, Ben. Orphan house? I don't. I don't know where you're living uh, um, on the street. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, I, uh, if I if right. I if I didn't think it would cause copyright issues, I would like play clips from the rescuers as we're launching on our adventure. Um, okay, so All can right. we do opening hands now? Yeah, so you start with two extra resources. Great. Um, so I have it set up so our, our viewers will not get to see my hand, because um, I don't think Dan can resist accidentally looking at my hand. I mean, uh, if you want to turn it on now and then turn it off after Mulligans, we can you can do that. Yeah, that's sure. Um, I'm already... Give me one sec, though, because I'm doing my Mulligan. So I think I basically should Mulligan basically everything except Cigarette Case or Leo, and I don't have either of those. It's tempting to keep lockpicks, but I, it's not as good as... Here, a cigarette case, so mulligan everything. And, oh yeah, and Lone Wolf is the other thing we really wanted. Not great, but the Lone Wolf at least is uh, something that's good to have. Alright, and Ben. So, turn the hands back on. So, I got a bunch of events here for one offs. Um, oh, I got my weakness here, so I can place that right away. Um, I kind of really want, like, Mr. Rook or cameras. Mulligan uh, everything. So, yeah, that's, that's what I was. That's what I was gonna yeah. say. I don't need. I don't need any of this stuff. I I feel like in this game, like Netrunner wasn't really like this because you know you you'd uh, you'd mulligan your whole hand, but in this game, I really think that most of the time you should mulligan most of your cards. Like most decks have like two or three specific cards they want, and if you don't have those, just mulligan everything to get them. Yeah. So I whew, I didn't get rock or cameras or any of my like static spells. Yeah, you got hot garbage, buddy. This or, is this, or, this is all trash. Hey, anything yeah these cards are bad. bad yeah this is real bad. <laughs> all right well that's it's fine um so i'll turn off our hands again because there's also hidden cards in this so yep. all right um i think i'm lead investigator um just because it results in me making decisions later and dan hates listening to me read the story text i have more um, important things to think about all right so we're start at the so i already did the setup on the board here um there's no encounter deck in this scenario uh, which Yet. is kind of weird. Um, it'll pop up later. Um, so the agenda deck says, Journey through the gates. From your initial dream, you have been drawn into a familiar dreamscape. The same one that Virgil Gray traversed in his story in Tales from Nevermore. Is this real? 
or is your mind simply conjuring what it expects to see? Forced, when the doom is placed on the agenda during the Ithos phase, if any investigator is at a steps location, place one additional doom on this agenda. Uh, and of course, all the locations of play are steps locations right now. Right, for now. Uh, entering the dreamlands. The door leading out of your initial dream takes you to a stone staircase. Thousands of different stairways join together here, forming an incomprehensible nexus of steps where the worlds and stories join together. Where the stairs meet, they form a single spiraling pathway descending deeper into the land of dreams. Do not draw cards from the encounter deck during this phase. Our objective is if an investigator enters the cavern of flame, immediately advance. And over on the board here, uh, 70 steps of lighter slumber. You are no longer in your own world. A spiral of twisting stone steps hangs suspended in the ether with no visible means of support. The bottom of the steps is an island landing, also floating in the void, where a tall golden archway leads into a brilliantly lit cavern. I uh, would like a playmat of any of this art. <laughs> yeah, so, there's so much good art uh, on locations and stuff that looks really cool. Right. Um, yeah, so this location's one shroud. Uh, it has a forced effect when you leave. Uh, take one horror for each card you have in uh, excess of five, but you can free trigger discard cards for your hand. Uh, right. And then the step cavern of flame, we can't enter until we have gotten all the clues from the 70 steps. So. Yeah. And it's going to make yeah. the, it's going to make the dude appear, right? Or two dudes. Uh, yeah, I was going to, I was going to, in case someone hasn't played this before, I was going to keep it a surprise. No, no, this is, come on, this is, this is, uh, this is pro level, this is expert level play. This is for experienced, oh. experienced card dream players only. This is, uh, we're going to, we're going to be using to... jargon. Yeah. We're going to be, uh, we're going to be talking casually about, uh, about, spo- no, I, I don't know. I, we never really actually talked about how we were going to do this. So if, if you don't want to talk yeah. about spoilers, that's fine. Oh. Yeah, and Dan, you can uh, on you, on the stream you can hide the all the tabletop nonsense if you like F eleven if you want a cleaner video there. Uh, if yeah, you're trapped sure. onto it, but um, yeah, okay, yeah. When we go in there, there will be some priests, but I don't think we have to deal with them right away. Like this, this, if you look at this cavern, there's a lot of fire, so it might not be a great place to hang out. Um, right. Yeah. <laughs> for too long. So, I I wonder if I should try to just draw a couple cards this first turn. It's kind of a waste of the first turn to just draw cards, but. Yeah, I mean, it kind of sucks because yeah. you don't want to have cards because you're about to take horror off of it. But like, if you need cards, you need cards. So. Yeah, I mean, I can. Uh, you could also play a free drawn of the flame if you really wanted to, but the shroud is so low that seems like a waste. I, I'm not allowed to play drawn of the flame. You're not allowed to play cards that interact with the encounter deck. Oh really? Yeah, so it's actually not good in this first part. Interesting. Uh, yeah. Maybe I should have kept one. Of, yeah, I don't really need the, like we can just draw. I can just draw investigate here pretty easily. Um, sounds sounds good to me. I, mean, I guess I mean skulls are like minus fives right now, um, because it's several cards at hand for me at least. Right. I uh, I have an intel report, but I don't really want to use it on this. So. Yeah, uh, I think I will draw at least one card. Uh, see if I get a shriveling or something, because minus five or minus six is gonna make a difference. Um, and I guess I'll just draw investigate. Um, Fail on skulls, uh, but there's no skulls in the bag right now, actually. So hey. it's, just, it's just like the minus five and like minus three or four or something. All right, so I got one clue, nice. and then the connection. Ooh, I did not get a clue. So there's one clue left here. Oh, man, maybe you'll draw a camera during upkeep. That'd be cool. That, that would be great. You don't have crack the case, right? I do not. Okay. I only have... I have robes for money, and or for helping save money, and I have... Uh, Standing relation and uh, right one one uncaged the soul. All right, I'm going to I'm going to play a lone wolf. I'm going to draw a card. Oops, that was the wrong card. I meant to play a lone wolf, and I think I'm going to draw another card because I really want to find like Leo or cigarette case. All right, nothing, nothing good. Okay, uh, upkeep so, time. Yeah, so upkeep. Got cutting in money. Wow, nothing, nothing coming out of the uh, deck here that's useful right now. Yeah. Um, all right, so doom happens, and then doom happens again. This is the force effect, but there's no encounter cards, so it's back to our turn. Hooray! So I did draw a spell, but it's not the one that helps get clues. 
Um, can you just yoink up this last one and then uh, move over to the other location, maybe? Yeah. Um, I'm going to probably draw one more card. And, uh, oh, it's, oh it's, it's, the, it's the pendulum. Uh, I guess I'll play that and then try to... Uh, do this test so i guess i guess i'm gonna say one uh with the pendulum. Denying, denying me my lone wolf money how dare you uh well no i'll still move over i'll shortcut myself or something because oh, i have to man. use it up anyway um no, that's fine all right so minus one so that means i got so that means i succeeded by one so i triggered the pendulum hey. uh, even though like having cards are bad and i got good news for you dan i am not gonna be here because I am going on a quick nap. Wow! In the spooky dream zone. The uh, uh, I think this turn. I, I think the synergy between these two characters is going to be really fun in a lot of ways, just because yeah. we can interact with each other without us being on the same space. So like the lone wolf works, but then like yeah, there's going to be a lot of cool stuff. So yeah, so I drew my weakness, which sends me off to the dream gate and the pointless reality. Um, not a bad time for that to happen. Get it so, out of the way. Yeah, not yeah, pretty pretty fine actually, because now I don't really lose any actions because that was my last action to investigate there. So, right. so I'm gonna get my lone wolf money, and uh, you did get all the clues, so I can move over to the next place. Right. Um, should I do that? I feel like I. I mean, I guess I should just do that. Yeah. Do you think you can start working on the priests? <sighs> okay. So. Here's the only thing. So I have oh, seven. Uh, <laughs> I, have, I have seven cards in hand. The only one that I could conceivably play, because it makes sense to play cards before you move, right? The only one I could conceivably play is the amulet, which I I never bother with. It's just it's not really, like okay, you get to double play events that can be like good very occasionally, um, but it's just like cigarette case does a lot more for you, I think, um, or like moonstone and stuff. But if I was ever going to play it, it would be like. I'm trying to empty my hand. I don't have cigarette. I don't have cigarette case available. I have a lot of money. It's like, should I play it? Well, just to... and remember, her amulet is a force effect, so that'll might mess up with your normal strategy of, I don't know, what you do with events regularly, playing events, shuffling the back of your deck. Uh, I mean, it, yeah, just it just. I guess it, I guess it makes winging it. But but I'm gonna I'm gonna chuck winging it to. Um, I like I, I would just use things to feed Wendy's ability basically. So, no, I, I'm not gonna bother play it. I will just take two horror to. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll just take two horror to keep two cards. I think. Oh man, uh, I realized I forgot uh, when I left. I had I, was, I left the seventy steps, uh, and I did not have an opportunity to get rid of uh, cards from my hand. <laughs> so I, do, I do take two horror, and I'm oh, about to take yeah. two more horror. Uh, from the from the dream gate effect well let's hope that we don't just get totally wrecked by this. i could use up i have a way to cancel that but then i won't have it for canceling damage later if i need it so action one i move to caverns of flame i guess i will do that so. and oh yeah this is the one where you take damage at the end of the mythos phase that kind of sucks yeah all right so you moved into the cavern so we flip the act the center in the cavern is a pillar of flame flanked by two robed bearded men. You recognize this scene from the writings of Virgil Grey. The priests, the cavern, it is all just as he described. Either you have ventured into the same dreamscape, or you are sharing his delusions. You must be tested. One of the priests says enigmatically, Your ordeal will be great, and thus so too will be your trial. Alright, so we lose all our clues. Oops. I think that's funny, because ordeal and trial are basically the same thing. Um, the priests come out, and we get a skull. The skull gets added into the bag. So we got these two guys. Um, noshed in. So common thought. Common thought. You parley with um, with willpower, or intellect, and noshed. You parley with agility or uh, combat. Yeah, but both tests are difficulty four. Right. Uh, or you can fight them. So, uh, and then uh, the trial of Nash and Kamatha. The barred golden gates beyond will not open for you. Only the priests can judge whether you are worthy to pass through the step, to the steps below. They cross their weapons, a steel halberd, and a silver scythe in front of the gates. Uh, if neither Nash nor uh, Kamatha are in play, immediately advance. So I have a bunch of cards to commit. I can try to just do both of these. 
if that seems reasonable, yeah. is that worth it? Yeah, I mean, if you can somehow get the next location uh, flipped over before I have to leave my dream gate, then I won't have to take any damage in the flip cavern, which is great. I'm for that, that would be nice. So for the bag, I can basically be at like plus two or plus four for these tests. Is plus the problem is like plus four. There's only one skull, which it doesn't save me from. I'm basically wondering like how many extra success tokens do I get if I go up to plus four instead of plus two? Well, the skull is the skull is based on how many cards are in your hand. Right. Uh, so. Oh, so if I were to commit, once you've committed the cards, they're no longer in your hand. They're so. But it's awkward because if I commit two cards to get to plus four, I still fail on the skull. <laughs> the, um, well. But then the second one. There's, o- there's only one skull in there. There's like a minus five. So. There's a skull, a minus five, and a tentacle. And, and you are you are windy, so you can trash stuff. Yeah, exactly. Draw. Exactly. Um, how many tokens are there currently? Total. Uh, sixteen. All right. Let's uh let's let's try the will one first. So I'm gonna commit uh, a courage and a guts. So I'm at eight willpower versus four, and let's roll the dice. Say uh, zero right now. Hooray! All right. So I succeed and I draw a card off the guts. So this was a uh, common thought. So I gotta flip him over. Your mind is strong. The guardian admits. But you are ready. Are you ready to shed your concept of truth, of reality? If so, alter your clothing. You protest out loud. Uh, you protest out loud of confusion. This is a land of wills, the priest continues. You, if your resolve is truly strong enough, prove it to me. You close your eyes and imagine a different outfit, standing, straining to recall its texture, its smell, its color. This is hard for Wendy because she probably has like one outfit. <laughs> yeah, she, it's, a, it's a raggedy ass dress from an orphanage, yeah. probably. But, uh, yeah, each and every thread of fabric. When you open your eyes, you wear it. Good, Kawantha says, stepping aside. Add this card to the victory display. Okay. All right, time time for number two? Yeah. All right. So I will commit Wendy's Amulet, the alternate courage, and manual decks. So I'm at eight agility versus four. And, oh, it's Wendy time. Uh, uh, so it's only minus three now. Hooray! <laughs> Good job, Wendy. All right. Uh, that was your last action, right? Yes, I moved and I parlayed right. twice. Uh, if you parlayed with Nash, all right, he's going to have the same voice. Uh, your quest will lead to death, the priest foretells. Prove that you can survive what is to come, and I shall let you pass. Show me your weapon. You open your hand and reveal the first weapon that comes to your mind. What is that weapon, Dan? It's a, it's a computer mouse. It's a Logitech MX Master with a freewheel. Yeah. So in the nineteen twenties, you can flick, it. Like you can, you a, can flick an it and it keeps spinning. It's really good. Once you once you start using one of these, you'll never be able to go back to normal mouse. <laughs> All right, <laughs> he slaps it out of your hand. That no! is not a weapon. Show me your true weapon. Uh, you think for a moment. What weapon could a, the guardian possibly be referring to? What weapon could help you survive in a place like this? My then YouTube water bottle. What about, what about this? I could I could give it a little kind of. A... That sounds like a good survivor weapon, actually, like a random, a random canteen or bottle. That's, yeah, that's exactly. Cool. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah. Uh, but you actually point to your temple, uh, and Nash nods very well. It was your brain, Dan. Come on, it's your mind is your strongest weapon here. All right, so that goes on the victory display, and then this advances. Uh, satisfied that you're worthy to enter the dreamlands, the priests step aside to let you pass. The gate beyond opens. Before you step through, one of them grabs you by the wrist and gives you a final warning. Your journey will take you beyond the lands of the gods. The eye of chaos is upon you now. Follow the path, and you shall be safe. But beware! He tightens his grip. Stray not from the path. Yeah, we're, uh, we're, we're worthy as shit. So we lose our clues. Uh, I spawn some new locations. And we get another skull in the bag. Uh, Oof. Hate those skulls. Skulls are bad news. Um, fortunately, you don't get to leave this location. Reveal it conveniently for us. Uh, yeah, that is true. All right. Spiraling stairs ascend below for what seems like an infinity. Uh, if each of us scares at the enchanted path, immediately advance. Oh, it's actually at the end of the mythos phase. Okay. Uh, I mean, that's... 
know if that helps me at all. No, I guess I could keep box away if I wanted I mean, to well, avoid you, you, you could just I mean, you could pop out in 70 steps if you wanted to, but... Oh, uh, yeah, and, well, then you could go first and reveal that, and I could... Oh, actually, that... I, yeah, I have some... Well, no, if I pop out here, though, I have to make sure I have um, less than five cards in my hand. <laughs> oh, yeah. Otherwise, I'll take horror. You again. should probably just take one damage and put it on the ropes. <laughs> yeah. Um... Oh, we'll do so. All right, so put the skull in. Do everything else. All right, now is end of your turn, right? Uh, oh, I think I'm supposed to. I didn't draw off of the um, the, uh, the man, man decks. Decks. Okay. Yeah. Now, now I'm good. All right, so upkeep. Oh, sorry. At the end of the investigation phase, I have to pop out. So I'm going to take two horror. Um. And yeah, I guess I'll just pop out of here. It's fine. Um, and then enemy phase something happens, so upkeep. And then... Oh no, Doom I'm happens. so abandoned and alone! So Doom happens twice. That kind of sucks. Yeah. What, do I need... I don't... I feel like I didn't need... don't need the gate box too much in this one. Because the map's pretty small. I guess I didn't really lose anything, like, terrible. Um, I wish, is there a way to turn off the kind of top menu and side menu, but still have like the tool tips when you mouse over things? Tool tips when you mouse over things. Like when you mouse over a deck, you see how many cards are in it. And then when you right click it, you get a menu. Cause if you had uh, F11, then those are off too. I didn't know that. No, I guess just turn the menu. Just turn your, I'll, I'll just turn it on when I need it. It's fine. Uh, all right. So I, we both take a damage. I put it on my robes. Um, and then it's our turn again. Hooray! So I, guess, I guess you probably want me to go first, right? I would love it if you would go first. And you want me to shortcut you to the next location, so when I move in there, we're together? Is that... <laughs> that wouldn't be my first choice. <laughs> look, look, Ben. I'm a, I'm a poor orphan. Do you know how, how expensive college is? Do you know how much tuition is for college? In the 1920s? For an I feel like it's kind of low. I mean, I think, right. they, I think actually probably they just don't let women go to college in the 1920s, so actually it's probably not relevant, but... Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. So seven hundred hundred steps of deeper slumber. Uh, when you leave these steps, take one horror for each card in your hand. In excess of three. Oh, actually, wait. It doesn't doesn't Rita do track for like the co for her college team or something? So at least some colleges. I mean, yeah. There's Mississippi University. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> the, so I mean, the Arkham said is more. Is Mi it, Miska, know, Miska what now? Real world, right? what, what are you talking about? The the this talk, the, the Arkham setting is a little more inclusive yeah. than the actual world was. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm so, uh I'm like borderline wanting to use this Intel report just because it's sitting in my hand and like I mean I guess I can take another because I because I don't want to take horror is the thing. Yeah. Um. I guess I could actually just play this winging it. How yeah, I kind of want to use up stuff in my hands. Uh. Still, I have a read the signs in my hand, but I, I want to save that for later when there's like way higher shroud. Right. So let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna play shriveling right now while it's cheaper, I think, and then uh, just try to get a clue with my last action. So I'll say one again. Uh, don't want to commit a courage to get rid of that. I think. Yeah, I'll commit a courage to. It's gotta get cards out of my hand anyway. Oh boy. Uh, so that's a minus five. So and I was at I was at four. So I failed by two, unfortunately. So I'm down to zero. So it's a big whiff there. Uh, that was my last action because I moved, played a card. So, yeah. Okay. All right. So I am alone. So I get the lone wolf money. Uh. So I probably move down to you and try to investigate. I basically am going to try to winging it those clues, I think. So I move down here. Seems fine. I, what I'm going to do, I think, is investigate. With I'm going to investigate just normal without committing anything, commit and fail and use winging it to redraw, and then I'll play it third click. So click two. I will investigate. My int is three versus two. Oh no, I failed. Uh, I use winging it to redraw. 
oh no, I failed. Uh, and then click three, I will play winging it out of my discard pile and try to investigate again. And this time I have a three versus one. Do you want me to commit anything? If you have book cards that you don't need, I would appreciate it. I have a Drawn to the Flame. I might be able to use that later, though. Do you, any, do you have anything that's less useful to commit? I have a ward. I can't, is there anything super bad that I have to ward on myself in this scenario? I mean, anything that does damage, basically, right? Yeah, no, no I guess that's it. I don't have anything. You're fine. Uh, hmm. I mean, I guess if I just go at plus two, I pass on the tablet. Uh, and if, if you I, commit a card, you pass on the skulls, too, but... Well, but if I I could also just use a card to redraw though. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, I'll just do that. So, all right. So many spillies once per test. Hooray! Yep. I succeed, and I get both of these clues. Nice. Can you keep moving this turn? Will you have three cards exactly? Unfortunately not. So that is the slightly annoying part. But maybe I'll draw something that I can play next next turn. Don't worry, I can shortcut you next turn. Oh, all right. thanks. Uh, um, okay, so that is it for my turn, so I'll keep. Uh, yep. So. Nope. Backstab. Useless. Alright. Uh, so Doom happens twice, and then it's our turn again. So, I assume you want me to go first again. If, if you don't oh. mind. But I gotta discard some cards before I leave here. I need to be less than three. I guess I'll get rid of Spectral Razor. Spectral Razor is great because it does three damage, uh, and I can use it on adjacent location. I'm probably going to get rid of either a but backstab or a waylay. Probably a backstab. Yeah, I have shriveling out. Um, I'm going to play shortcut to move myself, uh, which will not be in my hand then. So that'll be good. So I guess I'll just get rid of. We get rid of this extra courage. I don't know. Might might be sad about that later, but whatever. So I play shortcut. Uh, normally I would do some true Luke nonsense where I play shortcut on adjacent location and get to move two locations, but uh, unfortunately I can't do that while there's clues and adjacent steps. Um, actually, is that, is that, is that, is that, does Luke's Luke ability somehow break that? Because there's no clues in the adjacent steps. Hmm. Sorry, what, what, are you, what are you trying to do? So I can play Shortcut at an adjacent location with Luke's ability, um, which means I can move to a location connected to the base of the steps, uh, which means I can go to the Enchanted Path. Yeah, Normally, wait, wait, why not do it? But the Enchanted Path says you cannot enter unless all the clues in the base of the steps have been discovered. There uh, are no clues on but, base of the steps. But there's no clues there right now. Uh, <laughs> but I think I need to get the clues, don't I? Or do you have a way to get them? I have an intel report. Uh, this, this feels illegal, but, uh... If it feels illegal, that means we're doing it right. <laughs> Dream crimes. Because I don't, I don't actually enter that other location. Uh, it's just as if I was there. Hmm. Alright, sure. Maybe someone will yell at me later, but... <laughs> I mean, what's the worst that could happen? We get an asterisk in, in the entire right. campaign, and the yeah, whole we, thing we, is Yeah, we do it the rest of my turn now. Uh... <laughs> I still have three actions. I guess I draw cards. Yeah. Uh, cards are good. Hey, uh, I got a Mr. Rook, but no money to play him, so I'll gain the money in the last action. Hey. Right. Right. Trust that you'll get those other cards. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I think what I. Hmm, maybe I just play this Intel report for six so that I don't. So that I'm down to three cards. Oh, no, I can't because I, I don't even know if there's clues on it yet. See, that's why this is bad. That's why you should have just shortcut it directly to base of the steps. I mean, there's definitely clues on it. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. For, yeah. Can I just like play the Intel report and be like, look, I'm paying you to go there and look for clues. I'm pretty sure there's clues over there. Is um, there, like, I assumed you were just going to move there and get the clues. Is well, that no, I, I'm just trying to get down to three cards. I think what I'm going to do is, yeah, I was just, I was going to try to play the Intel report ahead of time before I moved so that I would be down to three cards. I will use the lightning bolt action on the location to get rid of backstab. So I'm down to three cards because I only have three horror left, so that seems pretty scary. Uh, then I will click one move here. Um, oh yes, you have to do this. You have to do, do, do a will card. test. Yeah. So I have to test will three. I have nothing to commit. That's unfortunate. Um, 
I might have to discard a bunch of cards here if I draw badly on this, just because I really don't want to take horror, so. Hooray, I pass. All right. Go, Wendy. Uh, all right, so then click two. I will play Intel Report for four and get both clues. Was I, was I supposed to lose the two clues that I got earlier? Uh, Wait, probably. How did, I, how did I get clues? Oh, I'm winging it. Yeah. Yeah. I, whenever we, or no, that was off of here, right? Yeah. Uh, we haven't advanced since then. So no. Okay. All right. And then click three, I will move on to you. Nice. All right. Um, so yeah. So do I advance here? Yes. So. When you reach the base of the stairway, you find yourself in an otherworldly oak forest. The forest floor is thick with countless years of fallen leaves, and you are surrounded by glowing fungi of all shapes and sorts. The soil is pierced with gnarled roots, and the trees are strangled by invasive vines. A winding dirt path leads deeper into the woods. Lose all our clues. No. A skull gets added to the, the bag. Uh, all the steps locations are removed from the game. So are we up to two skulls now? Oh, no, we're up to three, baby. Yeah. Um, that sucks and then so now I have to choose six of the seven Chanted Woods locations and spawn them. And the last one, I believe, gets removed from the game. And then the encounter deck is now out. Dane in the chat says Luke considers himself to be a fun guy. If by that you mean uh, he is crazy about Silas Ivan, then uh, yes, that's probably true. Uh, so everything else got shuffled in except for two cards that are set aside still. <laughs> all right. Uh, all you have to do is stay on the path. Uh, forced, after the first time any investigator enters the Enchanted Woods location, record in your campaign log, the dreamers stray from the path. Objective, only investigators at the Enchanted Path may spend the rocks that no clues to advance, which is 10. And uh, we're at the Enchanted Path. The Enchanted Path has a three-action ability on it that you, says you do as you are told, but you feel as though you're missing something. Place one clue on the Enchanted Path. Uh, yep. So then uh, our turn was over, over, so then upkeep. And then... Hey, it's Leo! Great. And then uh, regular Doom happens, and encounter card for me. Oh, deeper slumber. It's going to be very annoying because I want to use Mr. Rook. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, right, it's fine. And then. Free of Zoog. Uh, Zoogs. Uh, um, lowest combat is me. Ah. Good. So, swarming one. So, swarming effect is uh, we have to take cards from the top of the deck and they act as duplicates of card here so there's actually two zoogs on the end right now they're very easy to kill they only have one health it's so easy you get you got that trolling you're ready to go yeah i, I could kill them for you mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. i kind of want to uh. ben there's only two things i need you to do kill these zoogs and then get the heck out so i get my lone wolf money that's it i forgot to put arrows down um Yep, I can probably do that, and can I somehow make it so I can also do some Rook nonsense this turn? Yeah, I don't really care about the Lone Wolf thing, but I, re I very much would like you to shrivel these Zooks. <laughs> Alright, I'll shrivel the Zooks. So I'm out of... I'm only out of five... I have a lot of cards in my hand, though. Uh, I guess I'll play Rook first. Um, if I had that Spectral Blade, I could move and then use Spectral Blade. Uh, but that's fine. So... Uh, the skulls are minus fives, so I, I do fail on minus five with shriveling, because I'm only at a five willpower. Oh, they have a three fight. Ooh. Mm. Do you have, uh, do you have upgrade lucky yet? That would be impossible. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can try to shrivel them, but I might hit you. I draw like a skull. I mean, do you have well the skull? Whatever, I'll take my chances. But like, if if you're only at plus There's three skulls, I'm at, I'm at two above right now, so I fail on skulls. The minus three, minus four, and minus five. How many of those are in the bag? 
You don't have anything to commit? Yeah, do you so want to? Do you want to rook? Seven tokens. Do you want to rook and find something to commit? Maybe. Well, if I rook off, they immediately discard something, which is fine. I could just commit ward because that's what we get discarded. I think. I'd, uh, yeah, I don't know. I would. I both. I don't. I'm willing to take odds on getting hit a little bit. I just don't want it to be like fifty-fifty. I I can commit the ward and I pass on the minus threes, uh, but not the skulls still. Um, which means they fail on five of the 18 tokens six of the 18 tokens so that's that's one in three uh, two and three that'll succeed man. man i mean well how about this like it, if, oh i can rook now or no i can't rook uh, let's see. you can but then the skull will get even worse because it's before i've committed uh i could rook after i've committed <laughs> um well so what if i what if i just evade them they're easy to evade just deal with them later uh yeah that's fine they are very easy to evade um, I mean, it's you know, it would be better to just kill them, but th that way you can like kill them later, maybe without them being on me. All right. Like, once you so have, in that I'm case, gonna... I'm gonna shortcut myself over to here. Uh oh, <laughs> this is this is the gug location. <laughs> oh boy. Um, it's fine. I can big gug. Big gug, big gug, big gug, big uh, gug. Yeah, so this is after gug. you enter this location, spawn the set aside late ring gug at this location. So this if, is a. If you gate box away, I'll go waylay him. Do you have actions to do that this turn? Not evade. No, not this turn. But uh, do I have money? Uh, I don't have money. Uh, but like, but like, I'll I'll waylay him like next turn or something if you just gate box away. Yeah, or, if I had one money, I could. Uh, or ethereal, or ethereal form or something. No, I have ethereal form, but I need one money to play ethereal form. Yeah. Oh, here, wait. wait let me miss a rope. Oh. Uh, maybe I'll get um, standing revelation. Or maybe you'll get a weakness and screw yourself, but yeah. Uh, well, I will get a weakness. Uh, so, nothing happens there. Look at all those cameras that are on top. So what does this do? I think this makes me discard stuff. Uh... uh so my maximum hand size is is reduced by five. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh man! So maybe I need to spend a couple of clicks to get rid of that for you, um, and you need to not draw any more cards. Oh, what is right. the, what is the order on Mister Rook? So I draw think one. Of... Card from head, so. Wait, 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 wait a minute! Can't you draw the the card you want bef and then draw the weakness afterwards? I think that's the order it happens How? in. How would the card I want help me from getting discarded? Well, if it's a, oh no, because you're because you're there definitely was no there was no astounding revelation in the top nine. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Nope. I just lose my whole hand. You you didn't well, wait. You didn't do that during the shriveling. Oh, no, yeah. No, whatever. It's fine. Nope. Uh, well, that's hey. a that's a fun little interaction for you to have. Uh, I'm gonna gatebox away. Um. And then uh, I, I have I taken any actions yet? What did you I, I play Yeah, so I, I still have actions, so I guess I'll just get rid of drawing the sign. <laughs> Didn't you play uh, rook and then move to the enchanted woods? I used shortcut to move to the enchanted woods. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Because I wanted to reduce the cards in my hand, so I didn't have to discard any. How'd that work yeah. out? I forgot Dry the Sides was uh, reduced your hand size by five. Yeah, that was a uh, really bad time. Used. Is this the first time you played Mr. Rook? It actually might be. Uh, you usually you're playing him, so a lot. No, yeah. I I played him before in Games of Friends, but I forgot uh, what my weakness was. Yeah. All right. Oh. Fair enough. All right. So I'm I'm still on the plan of I'm going to evade this guy, move somewhere safe, play Leo, and then be ready to waylay the Gug. I think is the plan, right? I mean, the Gug right now is just going to stay there unless we find a connecting location. Oh right. Um, he enchanted path. Where are you going to pop out? Are you going to pop out onto enchanted path? Uh, if if you just reveal a different location, I will pop out there. Otherwise, it'll be the enchanted path. Well, because what I'm thinking is, if you pop out enchanted path, then we can have the. Oh no, they'll still go on me because of the prey. So we can't have them. I was trying to. I, I want these guys to go on you, so that you can shrivel them. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Well, if you're not 
I, I guess I can pop I can pop out here, and if you're not there, they'll go in. Well, and then they'll hit me. So no, I'm not gonna pop out there if they're gonna be there. You know what I could also do with these guys? I could take two damage to move them somewhere and then evade them, and maybe we can just leave them there because they're not hunters. Yeah, and maybe eventually I'll draw a vent that can scoop the clues from there. I did lose a bunch of them. Or an intel, yeah, or an intel report or something. So you can take the two damage. I mean, I can probably just shrivel them. I mean, I don't. Uh, I don't like. I don't love this. Uh, yeah. I just I need them to, if they're evaded here. I can pop out here and shovel them. It's fine. Whatever. Okay, so evade them here or move move with them. Take two damage and dump them somewhere else. We gotta pick. I don't care. My my I have no cards in my hand right now, so like it's much easier to hit stuff because the skulls are zeros for me. I'm gonna say I'm gonna take the damage and I'm gonna try to evade this. So I'm going to okay. move to... This does become a problem, like... Like, uh, just evade them. I'll kill them next turn. All right. All right, I'm going to evade these guys. I have a five versus a one. Three cards in hand. Fail. Uh, I will... Click two. I'll try again. Succeed. Um, click three, play Leo, click four, see the problem is now if I move somewhere there's a chance that I move somewhere where the Gug moves onto me, which I don't really like that idea. You should try really hard not to do that. There's only uh, only two of the six locations, one of which is not available, so that's like a, it's one in three. Alright, I guess we can, guess we can take our chances on that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move as far away from the Gug as possible. That was the wrong choice. <laughs> cool. It's not, not going great. Oh, and, uh, I might, and I might take a damage and lose an action? That sucks. That's when your turn begins, yeah. yeah. Well, you got Leo down. Okay, that's fine. All right. Oh, pretty, pretty uncool. All right, whatever. So he's going to move to you and hit you during the end of... Oh, sorry, end of, uh, end of whatever phase. Uh, oh, I did not take the here. Funny. And then... Uh, he moves to you, and he's going to hit you. Yep, yep, yep. This doesn't have any nonsense about, like, deal one direct damage to each of your assets, does it? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so either. Um, all right, and then uh, upkeep. He's going to jump on me. And... I drew, I drew a standing relation. Great. Uh, and... well, great, great job. <laughs> it's really great to have one card in hand and it's a standing revelation. Uh, the, the, right. one, the one copy of that that you have in your deck, which you rooked for last turn, specifically trying to find that card, and instead had to dump your whole hand. Uh, yep. Oh, you know what? I was supposed to take one of those cards that I searched for and draw it before the weakness fired. Shoot. I don't know what cards were there. I just saw the weakness and grabbed it. Um, I wonder if you could you have done it in the opposite order? I guess it wouldn't have mattered, but yeah. Mm, it's, it's simultaneous, I think. So I would have yeah. drawn them both and then uh, done this effect immediately. So yeah. it not matter. Well, it, I mean, it means that one more card would be in my discard pile, but I don't, I don't, uh, I don't know what I had. Yeah, so, whatever. I'll put an asterisk on the campaign. Um, <laughs> all right, so yeah, I added a doom already. Uh, all right, I have to take a money. Uh oh, more zoobs. Got some shriveling to do. Yeah. Um, all right, you you draw an encounter card. Oh, this is the one that runs away every time you attack it. That's annoying. Uh, when does... Oh, this is start of my turn. Okay. Uh, and this is now. So each investigator at a Chanted Woods location, which is me. Test will three. If you fail, I must lose an action take a horror. I really... I don't want to fail that, but whatever. Um, oh, while you're testing, I'm going to use this rook. Alright, I failed that. Um... 
So I take a horror. Ugh, that's getting pretty scary. And I lose an action. So I'm using Mr. Rook, so I'm searching nine cards. I have no weaknesses left in here. I'm trying to figure out what's best to pull out of here. I can pull out Knowledge's Power to get an extra shriveling charge on. I don't need that right now, though. I just take a camera and hope I can ramp it up. Um, nothing else here. Help the, nothing else here helps me with these enemies. So, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm kind of figuring that you might need to burn a lot of shriveling charges. Well, I mean, this guy's gonna run away as, as soon as I hit him. Oh uh, uh, yeah. So. It's also, I mean. Well, so wait, but you have you have two cards in hand before the rook, right? So you're gonna by drawing a card with rook, you're making the skull into a failure on the front of Zook. Uh, what? No, because I'm at I'm at five willpower. So I have a the pendulum. But you have you have you haven't drawn your rook card yet, right? Or or did you? No, I, I did draw. Oh, okay. Sorry, I thought you started with two cards. Yeah. Um. I already used Rook Cup. So, yeah, alright, so I'll attack the Zook. Um, I guess I'll say, one, I'll say one again. Or should I say zero? There's, there's a bunch of skulls now. What are, what are my odds of getting a minus two? You're, you, you, have very, you have very high odds of hitting a minus two. Yeah, so, so I'll say zero on this test to shrivel the Zooks. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, alright, so did I miss them? Yeah, I did, right? So, yeah. all right, I'll, I'll just shrivel them again. Which which one are you shriveling? The, this guy. Retaliate. Oh, it has retaliate? Uh, all right, so take I, that. Yeah, I didn't notice it at first either, because it's, like, way down in the, in the text, but... All right, that's fine. Uh, so I killed it with the second attack, so here's your card back. Hooray. Uh, I only take one retaliate damage, because it's just one enemy that I was attacking. And one action left, I guess I shrivel the inconspicuous suits. Might as well. Um, so I'm at three above for that. Alright, so get one of my cards back. What do we want to move these guys? Do we want, want to move on to you so you can evade them next turn? Or uh, I mean, I, I have the gut to deal with this turn. I don't really want them on me right now. I'll put them Can like you leave them anywhere where they won't move on to either of us? No, I mean they're exhausted this turn. Oh, okay, yeah. So. Kind of whatever then. All right, well, I'm all done. All right, I will get my lone wolf money. Um, oh, I have to do this. Uh, if you're at this location, reveal a random token from the chaos bag. If you reveal a spooky token, take a damage and lose an action. Hooray! Um, okay, I will attempt to evade the laboring gug with a four versus a two. I feel a little bit better about this if I had stuff to... So the thing is, I think that I should save the mandex for the waylay, because the waylay is... Like, if I miss, then I am screwed. Mm. But if, if I miss on the evade, I can try again. Yeah. So, okay, so I will just evade with a four versus a two. Hooray! He gets evaded. And then click two. I will waylay him, commit uh, manual dexterity, be at a six versus a two. I might not even really need to commit it, but I'm sort of happy to draw a card, so... And he's definitely not elite, right? I'm just double-checking. Not elite. He's not elite. Okay. Hooray, I pass. I'm draw a card. Sticky did her, so he goes in victory display. That's another waylay. Uh, I have an action left, so I can't get these clues, but I don't really want to hang out here. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, this is a great in teleport or draw to the flame location. Yeah, I think what I will probably do is move back to the center. Or read the signs if I get those back. Yeah. Or I, I guess I could move. Oh, you know what? I could move on to the these guys location. 
and try to get those clues with like a winging it or something. Uh, this turn? Well, no, I'm saying like next. I only have one click left, but like next turn I could evade the zoogs again and get rid of the last swarm. Yeah. Well, is evading going to get rid of the swarms? No, you have to kill them to get rid of the swarms. Oh, sorry. I thought. Yeah, I was got confused with the cats. Um. Yeah. I mean, I I was gonna equip the camera and like move down here. Uh, kill these guys, and then you can move down here and get the clues or something. Wait. Okay, I'm just gonna move here then. All right. Um, so enemy phase thing happens. Uh, a peep. Oh no! I shuffle my deck. I always forget to shuffle my deck after. What's this guy do? Okay, so this is the dude that's like kind of annoying to deal with, but you can pay money to just get rid of him. That's sort of fine. Yeah, unless you... I'll probably just parlay with him, even though I'll be broke. I hate Mr. Rogue, because I always forget to shuffle my deck after I use him. And then I draw a card during upkeep, and I'm like, huh, that was the top of my deck. Before, wasn't it's, like, it? it's easy to remember, though. Did right. I remember to shuffle it? Uh, you know what we forgot? These two locations are connected. Um, I don't know if that would have changed how you moved. Well, no, because uh, I... Because I, I was... So you were here. Yeah. It's connected to this one. I don't know. Right, but but no, I, I didn't want to because um, you were going to oh. go kill it, and I didn't want it to jump onto me and upkeep. Okay. All right. Uh, Doom happens. Counter card for me. Oh, don't look at that. Secret. I forgot, I forgot those were here. <laughs> um. Fun. Uh. I think I probably will just. Oh no! But if I lose my lone wolf and I don't have money to parley with this guy, ah, oh, this sucks. Honest uh, revelation. Does that help you? It does not help me very much, Ben. <laughs> uh, and I, I obviously don't want to lose Leo. Man, any other turn it would have been okay to draw this. Uh. I mean, I'm not committing anything to it. The only thing I would... Well, actually, if I committed... I have a cigarette case that if I committed, then I would pass on Skull. But that's, like, not enough. Uh, well, you pass the minus ones, too, which there's... Uh... But the thing is, I think rather than... Rather... Yeah, it still doesn't seem good enough to me. Because I would like to play the cigarette case if... And the cultists are minus twos. Can you just lose their own wolf? Why is that bad? Oh, because you want to be able to pay off the enforcer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I want to have four money to pay off this stupid jerk. Can't you just like evade him next turn? Or no, no, your evade's not even that high yet. So that's the thing. Yeah. Once I get the moonstones, I'll be in good shape. But at the moment, maybe I don't know. I mean, the thing is, the cigarette case is so important for drawing cards. But honestly, maybe I should start with moonstones in this deck and then get relic hunter and cigarette case later. Whatever. I'm gonna commit the cigarette case. I could commit a drawn to flame to you, but don't, no, don't don't do that. I want that um, to get like these clues. Right, so five versus four. Hooray! Pass. All right. That I'm I'm reasonably okay with how that went. Hey. Right. Um. So I'm gonna go first. Uh, I mean, so Dane says raw stats better early on. So I think that in hard mode, that's probably true. I think that for standard, I, I, I'm used to playing standard and the cigarette case would be better. But I think in hard mode, hard mode, yeah, probably the Moonstone's better. So, so you're going to be able to pay this guy off if I move, right? Yep, if you move. All right, so I need a little trolling charges here. So I'm going to uh, play the camera and then move down here and these guys are going to jump on me and then I will fight them so I'm at a, I'm at a, I'm at a 5 versus 2 which is fine for basically everything um, so I'll say 0 for the pendulum test oh man I got passed by a lot yeah, Dane, I, I just I just drew like every like skill card and stuff right at the beginning when I did not need them. And it would have been way better to draw like assets, but that's fine, whatever. I forgot to use Mr. Rook before I did this. We we, we still blasted through the first act like pretty fast, which was good. 
but I I took a bunch of horror that I didn't really want to take, and we didn't really have the stats to like easily deal with the enemies once we get into this section. So where should I send this guy? I can put him over here, but next turn I kind of want to like move here and draw into the flame, so like activate the camera. Right. Um, oh. oh yeah, that's okay. Uh, uh, I mean, just put him wherever, I guess. I mean, the thing is, like... He doesn't only have one health, so like someone could just punch him. Maybe... maybe well, are you volunteering? I can't punch him. Maybe this is why I was supposed to keep a small favor in my deck. I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, yeah, probably. <laughs> I mean, I I think you should probably just troll him at some point. But I mean, for uh, now, I mean, for now, just... No, for now, just shove him somewhere, because I, I, like, I like your plan of coming here and getting your camera turned on. Well, I have to show him here in the middle, then. That's fine, I'll move away. Okay. Um, and then, so I, I moved, I, I played camera, and I shuffled him, so hold on. Alright. Oh, wait, I'll, I'll use Mr. Rook while you're doing stuff. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, what's the worst that could happen? L lose your old hand again? Uh, I, I will get my Lone Wolf money. Another click, camera. Click one, I'll parley and pay this guy off. Um, yeah, it's, it's not worth having small favor in just to deal with this one specific situation. Um... Okay, three actions left. I think I might just move and draw cards, because I, I need to find cards to, like, get clues or something, basically. Yeah. Uh, are you going to wait? Are you going to wait? Um, whatever this turn. What if it gets clues this turn? Because I, I could grab my other camera and have it down next turn, but then I guess you won't get your little note money, but... Well, no, I mean, you having you having both cameras turned on would be great. That would be worth losing the lone wolf money, but I don't have any ways to get clues at the moment. I guess, I guess alternatively, I could grab a red of seeking, although I can't play it for a turn or two. Um, All right, so click two, draw a card. Yeah, I'll grab the camera. Uh, Leo. Click three, draw a card. Useless. Uh, oh, I spent money. Uh, click four, move... I'll move to this one. Alright, that's it for me. Uh, is this connected to anyone's I have already? No, but yeah, it's, it's connected, connected to yours. To... Yeah. No, it's connected to mine. I'm gonna switch, switch rear these. The woods are so confusing. Alright. Um. So up enemy phase, guy doesn't do anything, upkeep, wakes up. Yeah, until report. So Yep, so for that. So then Doom happens, we're at ten out of nineteen. Still a lot of turns, it seems. Uh ooh, I got another Zoog. Um Fun. But but you can spawn at any Enchanted Woods location. I... At the start of the phase, if the Ancient Zoog is ready, add one Swarm card to each Flaming Zoog and play. That's not great if we haven't gotten out of this guy. That really sucks. This guy? Do you have a Spectral Razor by any chance? Mm, I wanted my deck, but I didn't grab it. Yeah. I'm out of Rook Charges. Yeah. Um, I could waylay it, but I don't really have the agility to pass twice. Mm hmm. Finding a backstab would be good. Yeah. Uh, no, well, if yeah, you, I mean, if I, you if you kill your um, if you kill the other Zug, this turn, then we don't really care about it that much. I'd have to kill it by like punching it, which isn't ideal. Do you have? Uh, is that even possible? Mm, nope, not really. Well. Uh, oh, uh, but Dane is right. This guy spawns at an unrevealed place, so I'll just put him here. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. That's <laughs> eh, whatever. Um. Yep. Yeah. That's fine. Well, yeah, I got I got some cash out of it. That's fine. Uh, all right. So, so I have an Intel report. I can cash and play Intel report if you need help getting your camera powered on. Uh. Well, I have another camera in hand, so... Oh, you, you want to play both. I like, want to play that, and then I want to get clues from the location I'm at, and then move to another location, and you could then teleport it. 
Like, I, I, you can Intel report this, and I could save John of the Flame for something else. I mean, either Intel report or John of the Flame is great here, right? Yeah, I, I think we're just ignoring these enemies. I don't know. That could get out of hand really fast, right? Um, I mean, ideally, ideally, you evade this guy in the future. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I just don't really have the. Uh, I don't really have the agility to do it. Uh, really, 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 just did not manage to draw cards in the correct order of this game. Um, so the, the thing uh, is, I I really hate the idea of this guy getting another swarm because it's so annoying to deal with this guy. Well, yeah. Like, like I, I, can... I really think that we should try very hard to this turn, either evade this dude or kill this dude. And both of those things are very hard for us because, like, I, I can't even get over here to evade him without running through this guy. Yeah, like, I can go and try to punch him, but I'm at, you know, I'm at two versus one, which is not good. Uh, yeah. No, that's, the cultists are minus three now. That's, that's certainly not good. Uh, I mean, like, I could draw cards and try to find something. Like, if I find a... Thing is, I think I've already used both Mandexes, and so I could commit a waylay and probably evade, maybe. Evade the Ancient Zug. Yeah, but the thing is, I can't even get there. Dean suggests waylaying the small guy. I really don't want to do that, and the thing is, I just I don't think I'm going to pass an evade and. A waylay. This guy's also aloof, so you have to taunt him and then evade him. Oh, yeah, that does This is suck. a great spectral razor. It'd be great if I could draw a spectral razor. That spectral that razor guy. would be just incredible. Uh, I guess maybe I could have grabbed that instead of an extra camera. I think but, I mean, we didn't know you were going to draw it, but. Yeah, this, there's only so many enemies, so. Uh, so. <laughs> and you don't have I mean what do you what do you have in hand? You don't have like anything useful besides I have all clue cards in hand and an astounding relation. So <laughs> we've we really just had terrible luck this scenario, I think. Um This is a tough one. Like I don't think I can deal with these enemies. I don't think I can help with these enemies unless you want to go move and punch try to punch this guy twice at a, a one above, which seems like a waste. Like instead I could get like four clues seems better i mean i guess we i guess we have to do that just because we have like no way to deal with these guys it just sucks really bad because it means that we're gonna have to i i because this this guy the inconspicuous zoog is like the most annoying dude yeah you don't and you you don't have a way you can deal with him you, can, you don't have like a lucky in hand that you could go like punch him or something no uh, i i could evade him but it doesn't help I mean, it helps so well <laughs> I sort of want him to move on to me next turn and kill Mr. Rook. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I mean that would be that would be great. Um, That's fine. Uh, no, I, I I think we should do we should just try to get the clues off of no, here and get no, your cameras turned actually, actually, he'll get us. He gets the swarm on him before he moves from Hunter, so he'll be doing two damage and two horror if he moves, which well, is less good. Yeah, uh, it's not super great. I mean, it's still, it's still fine though. Yeah, it just means I take a. On me, I think. Why or, do you want to move on to you though? Like you don't have shriveling charges. Like what's your plan to deal with them? Yeah, uh, I just wanted to kill Mr. Rook off, but I don't have another Mr. Rook to play, so I don't. I don't actually have a good plan for well, that. I guess you can, <laughs> you can gate box away, right? Uh, ooh, you're right. Actually, before uh, he hits you, even if we're not on the same place, which we probably would be. Uh, well, I think I would let him hit me to kill Mr. Rook, but I could then teleport away, leaving, uh, leaving him on me, and that would be bad. But. Okay, so uh, well, if we're at the same place, yeah. But. So, so here's what I'm what I'm thinking is: let's just try to get both of your cameras powered on. Can we can we do that this turn? Is that possible? Uh, can you intel report something? I can, but I need to be on the location, and I need I need mm -hmm. to play a cache. So, so I can. I play a, yeah, I need to play a camera. It would investigate, uh, and I can investigate the location I'm on, and then move. So I can move to this location, if, but this isn't a great. This isn't a great oh, intel. Oh, you know what? Location. You know what? Hang on. I can get, I can intel report here. I'll just. It would just take my whole turn. Um. 
I kind of want, I was going to draw into flame here uh, from my dream gate, like next turn. Uh, but you, um, well, sure. But, but, but basically, like, so you're, on your turn, you're going to play a camera. Yeah, I'll, uh, what will I do to get these two clues? I, I mean, once you, if you, if, if you have two, if you have two evidence on both cameras, you can just investigate. Yeah, so how would I... I guess I don't need to power on the cameras this turn. So, oh, on next turn. So, so, so this is what I'm saying, is you could, like, play a camera, move here, and draw into the flame. And then next turn, you could... And then you could... Hmm. I guess you couldn't end your... You couldn't also get here. See, this uh. is... Yeah. I really wish these locations were like in the other other orientation. Um, so I, sorry. Oh, I could I could just play my camera and try to investigate this twice. Uh, so that's not great. Uh, I'd be at not a good amount. So I, I think you should play the camera. So the thing is, I, I think you should play the camera. If you can get down to three cards in hand, then investigating here is like pretty useful because you could you could have four versus one, and if the skull was a three, then you pass, right? Uh, only if the camera's gotten charged up. But that's what, that's what I'm saying. So like, what if this turn you just play a camera, do something, and end your turn here, and I intel report, or in, or end your turn here, and I intel report, whichever. Well, if I end my turn on you, then my the plan to teleport away from the Zoobs will be less good because they'll be on you. Well, but I can I can move away. What I'm saying is, you move here, play the camera, do whatever, and I intel report these clues, move somewhere else, and do whatever. Oh, okay. Um, sure. All right. So I'll play the camera. Uh, move up to you. Uh, I also I can also read the signs these clues. So though my this is a hard location. Is that even good enough? Because you you be, uh, be at I'd be at eight versus six. No, I, the read signs would not be in my hand. So I'd be at eight versus five. It's not great. But yeah, this save, will also be fine if use. Save that for once your cameras are powered on. Yeah, I mean, there's only six locations we have to investigate. Draw so. draw a card and try to find a razor or something, or another or another shibling. If I draw a card, I'll have to discard one during upkeep. Uh, this will go off well i mean it <laughs> seems like your cards aren't doing much for you right now though yeah D uh, just discard your uh your stupid um yeah, right. sign of revelation yeah Ooh, i got knowledge is power is that somehow helpful i can shrivel something oh man can uh can you shrivel the can you just shrivel this guy yeah all right so i'll play knowledge is power just fast can you can uh, you definitely pass uh i mean i'm at a i'm just at a five versus two I think that's worth going for it, because if, if you have can... like, if you have like one will symbol, so that I pass in skulls would be good. I do not. This is only during your turn, right? Yeah, Dane famously yeah. found that out. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, so I, I choose tripling to activate tripling. I'm playing knowledge's power on this location. Like I could, I could commit or read the signs or drawn to the flame, but um, if that if that gets you to succeed on a skull, then I think you should do it. Because you're right, we only have six locations. I have an intel report for one of them. You could find a right of seeking. Yeah. We have like nine turns. Um, I guess I commit the. I read the signs, I guess, is better to commit because I don't have to do a test then. <laughs> yeah, I guess. All right, so I'm at, I'm at. Well, so by committing a card, now the skulls are minus threes. Ex exactly. So and minus fours. And, you're and now I'm three. at plus. Exactly. See, so I'm up by I'm up by six. So yeah. say one for the pendulum. So I'm minus two. Uh, so that puts me at four versus two. All right. So I don't get the pendulum. Yeah, we gotta figure out the math of the pendulum. <laughs> so yeah, this guy gotta, died. Though. You gotta increase your pendulum powers. Your affinity with yeah. the pendulum. Great, <laughs> great. That that worked out great. I'm super happy that that happens because I did not want to deal with that guy. I yeah, think there's over. there's probably another inconspicuous Zug, which is going to be annoying. But 
right, um, so. I think there's only one of this guy. Yeah, there is. But I mean, we're gonna shuffle the counter deck soonish. Also, oh, cash, intel report for two clues. So your cameras get evidence. Hooray. Take some pictures so people realize this is real. I'll show them the pictures I took here in the dream. I mean, it's 1920s cameras, so it's basically completely looks like nothing. Um, <laughs> I have a picture of the stone trap door. Of the, of the door I found in the dreamland. Ooh. I'll move around my empty camera because they were just trap photos. Uh, and so now it doesn't matter if I move away, right? Uh, well, yeah, you don't. You're not really. So I'm just gonna draw cards. So I draw one card, and I <laughs> get. I could play a lone wolf. No, no, I'm out of money. Um, I guess I don't want to make the skull worse, so I will. Oh, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, I will. I'll draw another card. All right. Enemy phase. Yep. Nothing else. He doesn't move. So upkeep. Oh, if you had two actions, you could have gotten rid of my deeper slumber. But... Yeah, <laughs> it seems fine. So, Doom happens. Counter card for me. Uh, it's this thing. Ooh, I forgot those were in here. It's the horror one. Um, oh, I'm in actually real bad trouble if I draw one of those. But my will is boosted. Gray. Uh, also, I can just kill Mr. Rook. So, I think I'm going to. So, I'm at, I'm at seven will versus five. Worst case, I take three horror. Which I can just put one on me. It's fine. Let's test it. Any super bad effects? Uh, so skull is minus four for me, so that means I take one horror, right? Seven minus four. Oh no, that means I take two, so I kill a Hooray! Right, seven minus four is three versus five. Yeah, all right, so I'll kill a Sturk. He did his job. Unless I want him for the unless I wanted him for damage, so yeah. nah, I don't need it. It's fine. I'm sure, I'm sure nothing will go wrong. All right, oh, yeah, card in. That's the worst that could happen. Yeah. yeah, that's uh, also waylayable. It is. I don't think I can. I don't think I can really pass that. But yeah. so this is massive. So it's on both of us. Right. Um, I mean, I, I, mean, I can piece out. Um, <laughs> that must be nice for you. <laughs> um, do you have any agility cards in hand? Oh, I also I can't I can't afford to waylay it because I only have one money. Uh, I mean, this is awkward. I mean, I just have to move away from. Oh, do you have your mists in hand? No. Damn it. My my only evade card got trashed when I had to discard my whole hand oh. from deeper sunbow plus draw the sides. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Yeah. I do have a right of seeking hand, so like. We should be pretty okay on clues. So we got to push past these enemies. Still, have eight turns though. Um, yeah. Um, so I think I have I'm a spectral razor left in my deck. I'm wondering if it's even worth trying to evade this guy, which is unlikely to work, or if I should just run away from it. I assume you're gonna gate box away. Uh, yeah, that's a gate box problem. Because, so the thing is, I have I have track shoes in hand. Like potentially, if I play that, that would help a lot with the waylaying. It's just I'm gonna need a lot of money. So like, mm -hmm. what I'd kind of like to do is like, run away and furiously click for money, play track shoes, and in like a turn or two, be able to waylay this guy. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I also might draw another shriveling, and I'm a little low on money. I have a uncage in my deck too, though. So. Yeah, I mean, he also has a lot of health. Like, if you find a shriveling, I'd rather have you kill the ancient. If you, well, if you find the uh, the, uh, if you find, really, if you find the spectral razor, well, you should... this guy's a this guy's elite, so the razor does not uh, kill him. Oh, really? That sucks. <laughs> so... uh, he's also not way level. Yeah. Yeah. Um, man, I have one card on the board, and it's Leo. Yeah. I mean, we can also ignore this guy if we can like kill off swarms as we drop. Yeah, I guess if you have shriveling out, then we can maybe just rely on our ability to do oh, that. Oh, you I didn't see how much horror you had taken. That's the thing, right? Like, it's not it's not going great over here. Um, did you like, draw your weakness at some point? I did, time? yeah. Um, 
yeah, it was basically, yeah. Um, I maybe should not have, I maybe should have been more aggressive about discarding cards in the steps, but we really needed those cards. So, I don't know. I would have discarded more if uh, I hadn't accidentally gone to a pointless reality. <laughs> Pre preemptively. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah I, have not, I have not done, uh, I did not do very well with Mr. Rook. <laughs> so, all right, what are the tokens again? So, I mean, one is five for your locations is three. If you do a test while I'm here, you're here though. I can try to use the pendulum and get an extra card. Great. <laughs> um, so I think what I should do is I think I should evade this guy. I'll commit. It sucks, but I'll commit the lone wolf, and then I'll be at plus two. And then if I, with a little bit of luck, I can do it. So let me let me go first and try to do that. So what do you think your odds are? <laughs> Should I say zero? Do you think minus two so, is the best? So I'm at plus two. I have four cards in, in hand, but I'm going to use Wendy's ability. All right, I'll say, one, I'll say one for the pendulum. Should I, should, I feel I, like that... should I commit these track shoes? Because the thing is, then I pass on skulls, but I really want to play these track shoes. Um... I'm going to not commit the track shoes. I'll say one for the pendulum. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Well, so that, that, that you draw a card if I get a minus one or a minus three, basically. Uh, oh, uh, in that case, it's not like four of the tokens, I think. Oh, no, there are five of the tokens. Oh, man. Well, I, well I, no, I, but, if, but if, you, if you windy draw, it'll change it. <laughs> change the map. Man, being up by two actually just really sucks because no you know what i just have to i just have to commit the track shoes i think okay, so you're up by three now i guess it's the same yeah. as the one then. because now right. i'm up by three and now and now i pass on skull and uh cultus okay oh, so should i say zero ah, i'll say one whatever uh i discard Leo to oh, draw. I would have gotten to draw a card. Well, that's hooray. Um, I succeed. He gets evaded. Did you succeed by one? Or uh, zero? I did succeed by one. Hooray. You draw very, a card. You're very that's welcome. Another... I'm happy, I'm happy that I could help you, Ben. Um, great. <laughs> oh, man, that didn't feel great. Uh, all right, so I'm going to... I feel like it's pretty great if we can get him to like move down here instead of moving directly into the center. But I guess he's not going to move this turn anyway, so. Yeah. I'm going to move into the center, and then I'm going to draw cards. All right. Lock picks. Uh -huh. Super, super good. Really happy about that. Um, all right. I'm done. Try to decide if I just want to move here and try to get those clues regularly, or if I should move twice and draw the flame here. I guess move twice and draw. If the flame. you can, if you can get your hand down low enough that you pass on skulls, then being up by three is really good. Um. Yeah, I, I guess I'll, I'll just move here and draw the flame. Kind of wanted to draw the flame while I was in my gate box, but. Uh, of, you know. Obviously, that's great. Uh, so play on the flame. This is the damage one. Um, don't have anything I can commit, but my will is a seven. So, hooray! Nice. All right, so I got the two clues, and uh, camera. You take some pictures. Click, click. Um, no, it turns over. Cool. Uh, during during the enemy phase, I'm going to teleport uh, into the Dream Gate. Interesting. And then upkeep happens. I way to attack stuff now. Uh, sort of. All right. So Doom happens. Um, counter card for me. Oh no, I drew an obscuring fog. 
I was hoping to draw an enemy and it would just get discarded. Don't we? But... Don't we love obscuring fog, folks? <laughs> See, I wanted to draw that enemy, so it would have gotten trash. It would have been great. Stealthy, <laughs> yeah, that would have been cool. Uh, all right, so swarms. This is pretty shrivelable. Well, but I do not have any shriveling charges. I have a I have a razor now. Um, I mean, I guess it's it's certainly better to razor this guy than to razor the other dude because it doesn't even kill him. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I could ra I could razor that guy to get rid of him. Like if I had if I drew my other shriveling, then it'd be great to like razor and then shrivel this, right? Are we? Are you thinking you're gonna try to whale it at some point? Is that the plan? So I have another backstab. If I find another backstab, then that would be pretty good against the ancient Zug. It's backstab. Backstab's plus two damage, right? Yeah, it's three total. Oh, so what about the crawling mist? That I'm gonna try to waylay, but it's okay. gonna. It, I basically have to like, I have to click up a bunch of money and find cards to commit. I have a lucky, which will help, but. Um, are you gonna evade it this turn? I wasn't planning on it. I was what I was kind of hoping was like if one of us can be here, we can have it move here. I I can have it move here and get, get box away before it hits me. That's that's great. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm gonna spectral razor your guys, right? Um, yes. Go to one, and I'm at a nine. Yep. Seems good. <laughs> um, um, I'm not going to use the pendulum on this because I can't think of the math right now. So, uh, so I play this for one, um, and uh, I attack your swarm. I drew a two, so that that kills them. Hooray! Uh, second act. Ah, oh, dang it! I want to actions to actually get the both clues up here though. Uh, uh, really, it wasn't. I mean, you special razor, don't you have two left? Yeah, but oh, I have to move, move out of the first. box. Yeah. Uh, that's fine. Oh no, because yeah, I'll have to go back and get it later. It's fine. Um, yeah, I might be able to intel report it or something. Yeah, so I'll move here and I'll try to investigate. I'm at a five versus one. Skulls are minus four for me though. Um, so I'll say zero for the pendulum. Ah, nice. And it's sort of nice. Uh, yeah, it's fine. All right, so I got a clue, and then I'm all done. Cool. Um, so I will... I mean, do I just continue to draw cards and try to gear up to waylay the, the mists? I think that's what I do, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Like, I'm going to get right at Seeking Down eventually to get the last couple locations. Plus yeah. I have another... Do I have any more spells? I, I have a winging it in hand as well. Um, all right, so I will draw a card. Yeah, it's actually just right to seeking, but uh, still I, mean, I guess. It's, but see, it's like it's bad to it's bad to draw all these cards because it's just making the skull worse is the problem. Um, uh, I will. Oh, you know what I could do actually? Do you want me to get that last clue? Uh, yeah, but then he'll jump on you if you have more cards than me. So I well, drew, when I tell, well, when I teleport away, he'll be on you well, either way. So I, I drew one card. I could move, investigate, and then move. Okay. If you've gotten rid of the card, he'll move on to me. Would, well, no, I would. I would move, here. investigate, and I would like move back to the the enchanted path. Will you use up a card in the process? Yes. Okay. So that sounds good. All right. So I'll move here. This sets me back a little bit on the waylay, but I think it's worth it. Um, I will play winging it, not not exactly pro, but um, but that reduces the shroud to zero. Yeah. Which means I yeah okay, and then I seems like a pro seems like I probably shouldn't have gotten a clue. Should have gained a money or something. But... All right. Well, no, I I, th I didn't play it from the discard pile, so I wouldn't get the. Oh uh, okay. Yeah. I said to take a picture, and now my sanity goes up, which is a super useful. <laughs> I would I, I would love that. Um, <laughs> and then I move back here, and I'm done. Should have gotten um, Cleptomania, and you could have stolen a camera from me. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. All right. Um, so enemy phase, he's gonna move here, and then during uh, there's a window between when hunters move and when uh, they attack. I will use the gate box. Gate box. Um, so now he doesn't have anyone to hit. He's sad. Uh, 
<laughs> oh, this this also went away at the end of investigation phase. Now it's back. Um, all right, so that's it then. This guy doesn't do anything. So no, there's no uh, swarms. So upkeep. Uh, oh no, I have too many cards. I have to get rid of a stunning revelation. <laughs> uh, and then doom happens. Uh, can't occur for me. Aha! I drew an enemy! So it, it fails to spawn because I'm in the dream zone. Nice. The super dream zone. I'm in the deeper dream zone. <laughs> what did you draw? Another stealthy Zook? Yeah. Nice. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, well, ugh. I mean, this is less immediately a problem for me than the other one, honestly. Um, I will commit a Guts to this. So I'm at 8 versus 5. And I could also commit this Lucky Cigarette case and be out by 5. I guess I will do that. Okay. So, 10 against 5. Hooray, I pass. Uh, so I get a card off the guts. Useless. Um, okay. So, yeah, I need, I need more money and more cards to be able to deal with the Crawling Mist. So I will... Can you uh, move away so I have somewhere I can pop up? That's not one away from it. Hopefully. Yeah, it's unfortunate because that's going to make the cultist worse, but there's not much we can do about that. Yeah, that's that's kind of fine for me at this point. Is is one of these like lose all of your actions or something? Uh, I think one of them might be. I'm gonna move last action then. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click twice for money. Click one, draw a card. Click two, take a resource. Do I play track shoes knowing that I'm then not going to be able to afford to waylay next turn? Uh, there's no more crypt shells. <laughs> it's just so. Great. Great. All right. Um, Uh, what I do is I don't play I don't play the track shoes. So I drew a card. I clicked for money. I click for another resource and I move here. Village of the Zoos. Zoo village. And that is connected to. Pop out there. I can probably get these clues, by the way, if you really need me to. Okay. Uh, well, I don't. I have a right of seeking in hand. Um, I don't have the money. I could gain a money, play it, and then right of seeking something. But no, I can't do that because I have to leave the dream gate. There's also so there's three places left with clues. I can get. I can get I, at least one. I of only. Them. I only have right of seekings left until okay. I shuffle my deck. Okay, so you do want which I could force myself to do with Mr. Rook. Uh, I think you do want to play Road of Seeking then, so yeah, whatever. So, but I can't actually use it this turn. So, yeah, I have I have a dumber plan I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna uh, keep your money. I'm gonna play Mr. Rook. Uh, I'm then going to use Mr. Rook uh, to. Search for my deck. I'm gonna take an uncage the soul out. And then cage the soul <laughs> to play right to seek for free with their wow. hopes. Wow! Look at yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Hey, right. uh, and I didn't go above five cards, right? I did not. So, all right, great. 
And then at the end of my turn, uh, at the end of the investigation phase, I come out of the dream zone. I'll pop out here. Which isn't, which isn't great if we draw Zoogs, but maybe we've drawn them all by now? That would be nice. Oh, let's, I think we have. Let's Maybe hope for that, yeah. No, there might be one more. Damn it. Well, that's definitely what we're going to get. Uh... I think there's another fur to Zoog. I can always I can teleport back to the Dream. <laughs> uh, then I won't have any charges left. All right, so enemy phase. Um, we won't move him to here, probably, right? Unless you're ready to waylay him. No, I'm not ready this turn. So let's put him there, then. Um... Do I want to gatebox again in order to not draw a zoo and get uh How many cards are in there? There's twelve cards. One of them is a zoo. Oh, that's not worth it. Let's just take our chances. Yeah. Alright, so then upkeep. Duck. Oh, those are shriveling. I get that next turn. Um Doom happens. We only have five turns left. Um Oh, Dreamlands Eclipse. We haven't drawn any of these yet. Hmm. So that makes it so... I, just take a horror and you investigate. Yeah. That's fine I, for me. But. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely cannot investigate while that is up, but that's fine. <laughs> hey. I mean, if you can if you can just focus on trying to get clues and I will focus on trying to get rid of the mist, then that seems fine. All right. Uh, uh, oh, that is awkward. I have to... Well, only if you want to do any of that stuff. I very, I very badly need to do all of that stuff. <laughs> do you ha do you have a you handle this one? I, I, I do could, not. I could, I could deal no, with it. I, I do not. You're not supposed to play that in Wendy. It's not worth it. Yeah, this really yeah. sucks because what I really needed to do this turn was like play a card. I mean, I probably will just eat it with the Leo action basically and just deal with it. Yeah. You can always make your way over here eventually and uh, investigate or something. But... Yeah. Alright, uh, I'm going to use Mr. Rook. Um, I'm going to grab Knowledge's power. Uh, nice. And then... Do you need to shrivel something? Is that helpful somehow? Did you spend a secret? No, no, I forgot. Um, um, I mean, not this turn, right? Oh, you mean, like, the Crawling Mist? I mean... Unless if you could completely kill a crawling mist, that's cool. But I don't think that makes sense. I think you should just try to get clues. All right. Um, oh, you don't want to. So here's what you could do. Why don't you? Oh, you're wondering if you want to like move somewhere safer and use the. Um, I guess there isn't really a safer place. Well, like I could move to here, um, and hope that it's get, and get these later with knowledge's power. It's yeah. like a one in three chance it's connected. I also I I'm, trying, I'm trying to figure out how to use right seek like I want to use right of seeking last action and then if I don't end my turn, knowledge is power <laughs> to Do use I... Oh no, I've used both Intel reports. Okay. I guess I can just do that later. I'm gonna play yeah. track shoes, so I can always run back here and grab these clues. Don't worry about these clues. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna move twice to here and then use um right of seeking. So Oh, it's the moon tree! Or, or, no, I like the moon tree. Is this connected? Aha, it is connected! Nice, <laughs> wow. Look at that. Let's see, see if I can succeed. So, wait, one second. This is the one that makes me take two horror or lose all my remaining actions. Right. I will take the two horror. Nice. Then I need to investigate. Um, I think I will... It's the shroud here. So, I'm at a... I'm at a seven. Um, uh, I wish I had one... And I'll commit a card. Um, so I'm at seven versus three. I think I do. I think I want to take another horror, which is fine because I'm at uh, eleven sanity. So uh, all right. So I take a horror. I use already seeking charge. Um, I am at four above. Uh, I will commit. Uh, no, actually, shit. Uh, for some reason, I don't. I think I can commit this. Uh, hmm. I guess that's fine. I guess I just do the ready seeking then. Uh, I guess I could use the knowledge's power first and risk losing my turn. Uh, I think I do that actually. So I'm going to use knowledge's power. Um, and I'll say. Uh, I mean, the only thing is, like, when we do draw that last Zoog, we do need to kill it somehow, right? 
I have a, another shriveling in hand I can play next turn. Okay, yeah, that's, that's good. So, I'll deal with it then. <laughs> um, um, so here I'm at here I'm at four above, um, and I'm doing this location. So, I'll say zero with the pendulum. Uh, Jimmy spooky symbol. Uh, oh shit! Actually. Fuck, uh, the cultists are minus fives, aren't they? Oh no, you didn't update your little things. Oh no, sorry, they're actually minus sixes. Oof. The Enchanted Path is a woods location. Oh, that sucks. Hmm, alright, well, alright, so then I guess I fail that. Yeah. So I was at seven versus four. Oh, well, and my turn's over. That's a bummer. Um, I should have killed more cards, I guess. You know, I couldn't, because I didn't feel like it. So I'm going to I really don't want to have to move this turn, but I think I certainly do because I don't want to get hit by this guy. Or or do I? Do I so if I let him hit me, then I'm down to one horror plus the one on Mr. Rook. And I have four cards left in my deck. Obviously not a great situation. Um or sorry, on Leo. But like then I, he would just be right on me. Well, let's see. So what I was thinking of doing is play track shoes. That takes two actions. Then I would click for money twice. And then what's then the situation is next turn. I'm at five versus three to evade and to play waylay. Oh, but I won't have money for waylay. Okay. Yeah. I just I just can't. This is this is awful. I'm not going to be able to get rid of this prismatic phenomenon like ever. Uh, this really really sucks. I mean, it's going to cost you, like, five actions. Actually, wait a minute. You know what? So, okay, so if I was... If I... Um, what I can do is I can play winging it from my discard pile for a buck. And the shroud will be two. Oh, no, but it doesn't... Look what I found doesn't work that way. Like... Yeah, that, would help. that would help you get clues, though. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Fast play after you fail a skill test by two or less while investigating. Yeah. So if I draw like a minus five or whatever, like oh, no, after no after the, I, it's not lucky. Like it's like after the test is over, I failed by two if the difficulty's right. two, right? Right. So I could do so it. You can, you can play away, LA. But then I would be spending three bucks to do this, and it wouldn't get rid of the prismatic phenomenon. Okay, so would you, that's, get, would you get two clues? Or yes, you, or you I would get. Clue? Yeah, well, I would get. I would get two clues. I would probably fail and play the look. What I found is what would happen. I feel like you're focusing too much on getting rid of this. There's only five turns left. It just cancels out your Leo. Which sucks, but I mean, it's kind of true. It's you just have that to spend the whole turn to get rid of it, and then this thing's gonna hit you. It yeah, seems bad. No, but the problem is that if I didn't have this, I would spend a lot of time clicking for money, and it's also the fact that waylay is playing a card, so it makes the turn where I have to waylay this guy a lot harder. Because I have to, like, move, evade. Like, I can't evade twice because I need two actions to try to waylay him. Whatever. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I think you're right. I don't have a way to get rid of it. So, uh, all right. So what I'll do is play track shoes for two actions, click for a resource, and then move on to you. And okay. it's my last action, so I don't have to lose actions. Uh, okay. Does uh, do you want to move him to the middle or move him over here? Uh, all else equal, I'd move him here, in case we need to move down to the zoo and kill it or something. But okay. yeah, um, I'll keep. There's a backstab that's not super useful. Uh, well, actually, maybe if we want to sh maybe we want to kill him instead of whaling him. I don't know. Uh, I got lost in the woods, so will will three. Oh, this is awful. You fail this action to take a horror. Oh, Stop. actually, uh, I will award this. I think. Oh, nice. That's super cool. Because you're gonna fail it, and that'd be bad. Yeah. So it doesn't mean I can't play Shriveling this turn. That's fine. That's yeah. Fine. Well, you could click play Shriveling, and and then I it uh, surges into a big zoog. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, it's not that big. Uh, that goes on me, damn it. Oh, that's great. Now I can play Shriveling. <laughs> uh, Alright, and then you get an encounter card. Uh, 
can't use Mr. Opie on this turn. That's fine. I think I wanted to save him anyway. Um, so, like, yeah, I can I can click. I can gain a money, play shriveling, and shrivel this. Then I will not have tried to get clues this turn, which is actually not great. Uh, but it's only have four turns left. Uh, I mean, I can also evade this guy. He's just he's just gonna keep getting bigger. Oh, but he's not a he's not a hunter. Maybe we can just so, let him keep getting bigger. Yeah, like, cause I I can try to get the clues. Um, uh, though I, I'm still only out of four versus a six. There's only one cultist in the bag, though. <laughs> like, um, oh no. So worst case, worst case, I can teleport away. We've been disconnected uh, from tabletop simulator. We. I have. <laughs> So I've also been disconnected. I tried to save the game before. Uh, the auto save will be enough. Usually the auto save does fine. So it is. Uh, so yeah, we we can evade this guy and just kind of leave him there. Um, can't resign on the path, can you? Uh, I don't think so. I was wondering if it made sense for me to, like, after wailing the mists, just resign, but I don't think that's going to do it. Can you... You've used both... Um, you've used both knowledge's powers, right? Yeah, but I am about to shuffle my deck, and I have one Rook Charge left, so I could try to Duke 9 and get something. Although, if I draw, find the uh, find one of my weaknesses, it'd be bad. <laughs> I'm just I'm wondering if we want to consider the option of Backstab plus Shriveling the guy instead of Waylaying it. Uh, because you your will is high enough now. You have like 7 will, right? Yeah, uh, let's see. I loaded the game back in. It looks like looks like this is where we were. So yeah, there's nowhere to resign. So yeah. I mean, yeah, I could triple it, but the thing is, we have we have four turns, and we still want to get we still need to get the clues and be in the center to spend the clues. But we only need we don't if we want all the victory then. What what I'm kind of worried about is like if I draw that card that um, possibly makes you take a bunch of horror and then I die, then I will just like drop clues. It's not that many. Like we could still get out. It's just like if you die in the center, it'd be would be fine. But if you die somewhere else, it might be a pain. <laughs> I'm assuming that you have enough to advance with. Uh, you have three of the clues, so I would need to get at least one of your clues. Yeah. Um, I have to make the cameras again. Very, very uncool. <laughs> so, I guess for the immediate turn, do you think we should triple this guy? I, I feel like I want to be getting clues. Um, or do you want me to shrivel the crawling mist? Is that what you're saying? I'm, I'm just, I'm speculating. Well, I could move, shrivel the crawling mist, and then like get the clues off of this location <laughs> so what we could do if you want is we could give me a sec i'm setting up cameras the chaos back break so i guess in the interest of getting out of here fast i think we don't want to kill zoogs unless we absolutely have to so i think that probably what we want to do is i'm gonna just focus on trying to get rid of the crawling mist and yeah, if you can like scoop up the clues really fast from the remaining two locations, then we're kind of in great shape. Well, there's three locations. Oh yeah, um, yeah. So whatever the nonsense so, I did, where I ran ran over here, was probably a waste of actions. I mean, it actually kind of sucks that 
See, it sucks this guy's still alive, though, because it means that I'm missing one card from, from the swarm. Which is <laughs> not great. Um, and it's good. Well, if it makes shield better, it'll eat my cards, I think, if he's not engaged with me. Um, I, I could also backstab it, but it would be not great. Oh, I have this I have to get rid of. Um, actually, if you're not engaged with it, because my deck is empty right now, and this triggers, I'm the investigator. I don't have any cards to add to Swarm cards, so he does not get a Swarm. So I think what I think what has to happen is I think I have to evade this guy, do something that is secret, mm -hmm. and move, move, and then I think that at last, I think that next turn I can waylay the mist, assuming I don't die, which is quite possible. Is it, he's going to hit you though, isn't he? Not if I move, move. Oh, okay, you move, move away. Gotcha. Yeah. You can even move, move to here uh, to reveal that location. I suppose so I can. I, I suppose it I might could. Help me, it might help me with gate boxing later. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess I can. I guess I can do that. There's no chance that it like spawns a dude on me or something, is there? Uh, no. The only one that I think the only one that spawned a guy was the woods, but I don't remember them all. I guess we can. I guess we can take that chance. Uh, all right. So I'm gonna try to evade this furtive. Oh, I can also track shoes maybe if I get lucky. Um, all right, so let's try to evade this guy. I have a five versus a one. Oh, actually, you're going this location makes it harder to evade. Uh, it makes it harder to do everything because the spells is worse. Or the cultist. I guess the cultist is just a failure at this point, so we have to treat yeah, that. As yeah, we have to just treat that as not a fail. Okay, so this guy gets evaded. And then I'm going to... This is my card, not your card. Because <laughs> uh, I drew it. I'm going to discard a player card with an even number of words in its title for my hand to get rid of this. Ooh, clue card, huh? Uh, it's the only, only one I had. A lot, a lot of my cards are a single word, like including Waylay and Lucky. So yeah. you can you can understand my, my predicament. Yeah. I've also, I mean, I've got lock picks if it comes to that, but I'm probably going to chuck them to Wendy's ability. Um, so I'm going to move here and exhaust lock picks and test five versus three and succeed and continue moving over to here. Oh, see, that's awkward. Um, like no one, no one wants that to happen. Uh, and I have one action left. I cannot really do anything useful with it because I can't play or click for money or anything. Um, mm. So I will just not do anything. Uh, unless I wanted to play a... No. Can you try so, to investigate? Do you have a chance of passing? No. So I could commit two lockpicks and play a winging it, and I would be at a five versus three, and if I succeed, I would get two clues. But you can't play a winging it. Oh, you're right. Yep. Then no, I can't. I could taunt the ancient Zug. No. Yeah, that's bad. All right. Um, I guess I wish I had gone first, because... You, you wanted me to reveal it so you could potentially move there even yeah. more easily. Well, no, I, I wanted you to reveal it either way, but that's right. Because yeah. uh, okay, it is so... it is connected to both of these. Oh, yeah, we managed to, we managed to actually connect them all. Yeah, we, we're missing the only one, the one that's like a, a stupid trap. Yeah. Um, okay, so... I'm trying to figure out what to do. If I should just try to write a seeking and hope I don't draw a spooky symbol. Because my other actions would be like draw two cards, which isn't. Did you use Rook already? I did not, but my deck is empty, so I have oh, to yeah, yeah. draw a card. <laughs> uh, well, well, and keep in mind that you the same thing that happened to you originally in Wrecked You could easily happen again. You could spend right. two actions to get rid of Deeper Slumber, and then you could Rite of Seeking. Uh, yeah, that seems right. But well, and that's fine. We'll it's like it's not incredible. It's not incredible, but it might be worth it. Yeah. So I'll get rid of that, and then I'll try to write a Seeking, spend a charge, I'm at 7 versus 3, so I'll say 0 for the Pendulum. If 
There was a minus five in the bag. All right. Oh, I failed. Unfortunate. Um. So, yep. All right. So enemy face. He's gonna move here. I'm going to gate box away. Yep. Uh, Sounds right. And oh, uh -huh. damn it! This is the one place that we really. Okay, I definitely can't waylay him while he's there. <laughs> Why? What happens there? Oh, you take horror. Those are your actions. Yep. Yep. Uh, That's fine. Get him, get, him, get him next turn. Yep. All right. And then. Upkeep. Deck with shuffled. And then. Oh, I could have played. I could have played my shriveling. Probably should have done that. No. Uh. Doom happens. We only have three turns left. Yeah, I know. Uh, Zook Burrow. Just agility three, huh? Oh. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm going to say I'm going to fail by three. Because, uh, uh... I mean, you could pass if you draw zero. I'll be back in one sec. Yeah, but there's a lot of... It's worse than that. Fail by three. Tablet. Nope. I fail by one. I fail by two. So. And, oh, I forgot to add one card to. And I couldn't because I had some Alright. Um. Oh ho! Uh, that actually is sort of bad. Kind of bad. Um. Yeah, so, maybe yeah. maybe you can find a drawn of the flame after your deck shuffles. Well, my deck has shuffled, so I can dig with Mr. Rook right now. Um, one of my weaknesses, I don't care. The other one, I would get. I don't know. The other one, I would lose my whole turn basically. So wouldn't you die from taking the horror when you get kicked out? Uh, no, nope. I have a sanity of eleven because of my cameras. <laughs> oh yeah. Yep. Uh, uh, I mean, I that seems good to me <clears throat> well be before you do that what i'm kind of thinking about doing is so if i track shoes over here then i can potentially get these clues okay like is that worth it uh i mean i think you need to get some of these clues at this point if you want to try to get them all uh, yeah that's that's what i'm thinking too i only have two right seeking charges left and you know they ends my turn a lot of the time so. yeah well i mean so i can like if i track shoes up here i can basically spend three bucks and get so i think i can i think i can definitely get i think i can get these two probably so like if i use mr rook and dig for nine cards um you know it's like almost a percent chance i find my bad weakness that will make it disability for the turn but there's four cards that I would be able to use to get, uh, probably get four clues this turn, maybe. What, yeah, so what I'm kind of hoping is that, like, this turn I get these two clues and set up to waylay the guy next turn. Next turn I waylay the guy, and you oh, get the remaining so clues and move. These guys are also over here. Yeah, I don't, well, no, I don't care about that, because what, what would happen is he would move on to me, and then I would waylay him here. Oh, okay. I kind of care about this, because I... Well, no, I can get those clues remotely. Uh. So I guess, like, when should I use Mr. Rook? Should I use him now and risk getting my weakness? And or I could, I could only, I could search like six cards instead of nine or something. It seems, seems crazy. It seems really bad. Um, I think. Why did my camera go off? Um. So it's basically like. Do we want to wait and see how my turn goes before you rook, or do you want to like rook first? Well, no, I can't use my gearbox anyway, so. So suppose, uh, where where are you? Oh, you're I'm in, you're... I'm in my gate zone. So. All oh, right. So you're gonna pop out. When? It's an action for me to oh. pop out now, and right. then. But from here, if I got one of my, if I got read the signs or whatever, I could right, which is really good. Pop out somewhere else. 
I think you should rook right now and do your, I think you should rook right now and then we decide who goes first. Okay. So at the end of end of Mythos phase I'm rooking. Uh I search all nine. I, well right? I I think so, yeah. Because there's four car there's four cards that help me get clues. So yeah, six no, cards. Yeah, definitely de definitely definitely search nine. There's six cards that help me get clues, but one that fucks me. Yep, no, look, uh, look at all nine. Okay. All right. Aha! Detached from reality is the tenth card. Yay! Uh, but I did get I do draw a great reader behind the signs, but totally. that's fine yeah, now. It's fine. It's <laughs> almost good. It keeps the skull in the good range. I didn't get a draw into the flame, but there is a read the signs, so I'll take that. Yeah. Because read the signs, I'm at a. Am I at twelve? Read the signs. Been seven will and five. Yep, I'm out of twelve with read designs. That's, so, so can you? Can you? You can't get from both locations and be in the center this turn. I cannot. That's I, that, that's okay. So this turn, we each get one location's worth of clues, and I set up to waylay. Next turn, I waylay, and you and we both move to the enchanted path, and we're out. Or, or even I don't have to move to the enchanted path because you'll have enough clues. I mean, I can potentially get both of these sets of clues this turn, and then next turn maybe get these clues. Do you really only have three clues? Yeah. Yeah. We've we've only cleared three of the locations, and you have three clues. Okay, so we both need to be there. See, that's tough because that means that like I have to move, evade, waylay. Oh no, no, it, it'll be okay because he'll move on to me. Okay, so we're we're potentially okay. So I guess the question is: the question is, do I save the read the signs to get this location's clues, um, or do I use it on this location that has a way higher shroud and a cost to leave? Um, um, I wish I could cut the card, but I don't feel like it. Uh, I think you don't. I, I, I think you don't want to enter here. So. Mm -hmm. How do I? Do oh no, no! This this is the one with a really high shroud, right? Yeah, this is a shroud of six right now, which means I do fail on the cultist. I think that uh, is. Read the signs. <laughs> I think you should read the signs here. Okay, and maybe we give up on this location. Well, no. I mean, I think that you try to write of seeking it next turn. Well, but there's an enemy there that has but, to be dealt with. Well, no, but he's. But this like, enemy. Oh. Uh, so it's going to be four of them. <laughs> so I can't just like take a hit or whatever. Uh, are there, do you have good odds to find another read the sign or draw the flame next turn? There's, there's five. There's five cards that help me. That so five out of eighteen. Can uh, you can you possibly commit enough stuff to pass with right of seeking here? Um, no, it'd be against the law. So, um, and you can't commit to me because I'm not actually there. I also don't have cards. Um, yeah, I mean, it, I'll just read the signs there. It's fine. Um, yeah, it, it probably doesn't make a huge difference. So I'm at 12 versus 6. Great. Uh, pass. So I get those two clues. And this goes away. Um, so I could take an action and move here, but that somehow fucks up your plan, right? Uh, why would that fuck up my plan? Doesn't. Uh. Well, so oh, I. Will still attack you right? He won't be on me. He's massive, so you'll still be able to kill him next turn. Yes, and in fact, I mean, I I would like it better if he hits you. Well, he'll he'll hit both of us because he's massive. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. He'll hit, he's going to kill Mister Rook. Is what's going to happen? Yeah, no, I mean <laughs> that. No, I mean that is that is fine with me. Um. Okay, so we'll move here. Is the deck gonna shuffle soon? No. So I think there's no more enemies. So that's good. you also you, <laughs> um, you have a lot of so you have one read the signs, two drawn of the flames, and two knowledge as powers that all would let you five cards yeah. like a one in three chance of getting one that lets me remove grab this stuff. Yeah, so, that would be cool. At very high test. So okay, so I'll move here, uh, second action, and then I will just try to seeking. Um, I'm only at a plus four, but it's the best I can do. So. Oh, hooray. hooray! Great, so I got these clues too. Nice. 
right. Um, that was my turn. Okay. I do uh, have the drawing design. I'm just going to discard stuff. But that's fine. So I mean um, that. I mean, I guess that makes my life a little bit easier if I'm like not going to try to get clues there. The thing is, I could actually get clues here. It's just that I can't do that and waylay the guy. I mean, if you can get the clues from there very easily, um, like next turn I can move in, maybe shrivel stuff instead. I have to play shriveling. So this guy has three. He would hit me for three damage, right? He'll hit you for four damage because he'll get another guy on him. So that would, start that would have to kill Leo, which I don't love, but... Uh, and then the boss will hit you for one more. So well, this is... Five. Well, I'm, I'm saying, like, if I'm able to evade... If I'm able to waylay the boss. Okay. Um, so you move, waylay... You'd have one action left. Oh, no, you have to evade it first. Yeah, I have to move, evade, and then spend two actions to play waylay. Uh, is that better? Move to you next turn, and... Well, like you uh, move into the middle, and then you wouldn't hit me. <laughs> but, <laughs> uh, I mean, I can do that, I guess. Yeah, I guess I'll, I guess I'll do that, because it, it's also slightly better than. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to move here. I don't want to draw cards because. Uh, Turned out typing hit F1. Yep. Um, so I have two cards left, and if I get hit by, or whatever, this, this math is, this math is unnecessary, um, what, what I would actually like to do is try to chuck some cards from my hand. So I think what I want to do is, when I move here, use track hey, shoes. Track. If I succeed, I'll just move on to you, and then the worst that happens is you get hit. But I probably yeah, I'll just kill, I'll just kill Rook. I, I'm at full health, and I yeah, still have. I, I also probably won't get hit. Oh no, I succeeded. Uh, well, no, wait, but well, I, can, yeah, I, discard. I discard lockpicks to redraw. Oh no, I failed. Um, <laughs> all right, so that was one action, and then. What can I do that is useful? Um, I could draw a card, and my deck won't actually empty out on upkeep. But then my hand is bigger, which is sort of what I'm trying to avoid. Do you need money for anything? For waylaying or luckying or whatever? I have enough to waylay and lucky twice, which is what which is what I need. Uh, I will. Spend two actions to draw a card, and one action to get a resource, and then I'm done. All right. So enemy phase. He'll move in the middle. Yep. Um, um, I'll let you find a way to place that since you. So on top of you, it's fine. All right. Um, get hit. So then he'll hit you. Yep. Bad. Oh, and also at the beginning of this phase. Yeah, big big swarm of zoos over there. Mm -hmm. I guess it's possible at least one of these cards is uh, one of my important ones. <laughs> Could also be my weakness. <laughs> and then um, upkeep. And another Mr. Rook. That's not really what I need. Uh, yeah. Because I can't I can't play it. I have to discard two cards. Let me discard this. Uh, you might be able to kill it during uh, encounter phase. Do I need another right of seeking? I think I don't. I do need triple right. No, I don't think a right of seeking helps you at all. I'm just deciding if I should keep a rook or right of seeking. Keep the rook. I don't have time to play him. So anyway, so doom happens. Um, well, no, you you might. We only if, have two turns left. <laughs> no, but so but, but what I'm saying is like if you're trying to get the last clues, you could. If if your if your current Mr. Rook dies during Mythos phase, you could first action play Mr. Rook, then search and try to find a drawn to the flame. Second action play drawn to the flame if you get it. Third action move into the center. 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, Threat of seeking doesn't help you at all. Right. Uh, Dreamlands Eclipse. So, that's my do, card. Do you have, you're out of gate box charges? Yeah. Okay. Because another way we could try to do it is you could like move here and in, move here and investigate, and then if you draw a spooky token, you just like gate box into the center. Well, we have two turns. I don't need to be in the center this turn. Oh, I'm. I'm I do. I well, I I'm. There's a very good chance that I need to. We need to finish this turn. I right, go insane. <laughs> uh, okay. We'll see. Okay. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I did. I did my encounter card. I got to do lens eclipse. Okay. Uh, that is very fine. So, so I need to these. So I, I just need to waylay this guy is all I need to do. Because I, I certainly I cannot get clues and come back to the center. Can you evade the zoogs? I I cannot evade, waylay this guy, and evade the zoogs and come back to the center. You, do you need to, why do you need to come back to the center? Oh, because you have one of the clues. Yeah. Okay. It was, it was that one clue that you drew like a minus five on or something from yeah. down here. That's the, that's that's so, the reason. I mean, I I can't get those clues and move back to the center, most likely, because I'll and I'll die actually if I try to go and get those clues. Could we? Oh, you know what we could have done? What if we have, if we have the guy move on to you? Can he kill your Mister Rook? I mean that that was the original plan, but it's definitely too late to change that. <laughs> So. Oh, okay. Yeah, because we did encounter some stuff. We already did some stuff. Yeah. Uh, uh, poor, poor play. That's not expert level play. Well, I, I also didn't have the other Mr. Rook in my hand at the time, so. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Um, if you wanna, if you wanna be all accurate about it, can you hear? Okay. How about this? Do you have a way? Do you have any kind of? Do you don't have a razor or anything, do you? No. Oh, I mean, there's two in my deck. What? What do you? Do you have a shriveling and a, and a knowledge is power in hand? No, because if you had a knowledge is power, I have, I have a shriveling in hand. So if you played a shriveling, no, that doesn't do any good. Okay, I think we I mean, just. I, I could just furiously draw and hope I get one of the five events I need. <laughs> um, well, so this guy is only worth one victory, and that location's worth two. So what if I were to evade the mist, move. Get the two clues and move back. At least there's still a swarm of zoops. You have to evade them. No, you're right, and I can't do it anyway because of the stupid uh, mists, the prismatic phenomenon, which is really wrecking my day. Oh, you're getting the clues. Like if you if you can can you evade the mists, evade the zoops, then I can move try to seeking the clues. And then so so I could next kill the we could work together and kill the mist maybe. So we're not we're not trying to win this turn. I, uh, not seeing how we're gonna win this turn well, if we also win all the victory, which we do. It's just like it's how. It's how it's how how far how far do we go pursuing that last couple of victory? So if we were gonna do that, I would evade the mist, move and evade the zooks. If you kill the mist, then there's like no giant. There's not much of a threat to like me dying, or really to you dying. Unless you draw something that does. Horror. The thing, the thing that I'm very worried about is uh, those like five will cards. The one of those that does horror can probably kill me. Did we draw both of those already? Uh, well, yeah, but aren't we about to shuffle? Maybe not. There's, there's three cards in the gear deck. It might yeah. be a surge, but. Uh... Are there only two of those? Uh, I feel like there's two each, but it looks like there's only one of the discard piles. So, uh, I mean, I, I have a I have a courage, which like potentially even even then, if I get like a cultist or a skull, it's bad news. But I, I at least have decent odds. But um, oh no, but it's also like I'm about to. So the thing is, I'm about to cycle my deck, which kills Leo, and then I right. definitely only have one spare horror. Like, do you know that card where it's like everybody on a woods location loses a test wheel or they lose an action yeah, in a horror? Yeah, it's the search. I think we drew both of those already, but we might be okay. three of them. 
Yeah, that's that's the thing. Um, I, I sort of feel like killing this guy and then me trying to just draw and get one of my other cards might be kind of okay. So if I it was have five of them in my deck that help. If if the only thing that we were risking was me taking a trauma, then that would maybe be okay. But you would have to. I, I mean, you'd still you'd have to pick up a clue from here, and this place has shroud. shroud. It's plus one shroud. Oh, to each unrevealed. Yeah. I guess that's, that's why it's really hard. To, that's why it's really hard to not stray from the path. Right. Right. Um, so like I, I can get a clue from there. Uh, either with right of seeking or with whatever. So if you die in the center, I, I can probably grab it. If if that's what you want to do, then we can do it. Um. Okay. Yeah. I mean, is that is that what you want to do? Yeah, I think that's okay. okay. All right. Then let me. I want to furiously draw this turn because if uh, I get my weakness, then yeah. yeah. Okay. Well then, so let me let me go ahead and try to try to do this. So. I'm going to, first I'm going to... Yeah, we definitely should have the mystery on to me. Well, yeah. Uh, yep. Because um, I could have played Rook. Luke does, Rook. Luke does not have Magic Punch. Yeah. Um, okay, so it's five against three. Um, skull is really bad. I want to get Skull down and be able to pass on a 5. So I want to get up to 10, and I have a lucky. So I want to get up to 8. So I'll commit... I can't really I can't really be high enough to do that both times, but I could maybe be high... Okay, I want to be a plus 3. So what I'm going to do is... Commit this. So I'm at 6. I really wish I could just dump some of these cards. I guess I, the thing is I can try to I can try to wait I can try to evade a couple times. So you get like two tries. But yeah. Yeah. All right. So let me evade five versus three. Um, just without committing anything, just to get a card out of my hand. Um, I will lucky and pass. Oh, nice. Okay, so he's evaded. So now, click two. Waylay. Uh, so, commit a courage. So, or do I do I need this courage to stay alive through that counter card? Whatever, we're saying I, I just maybe die to that. Okay, so seven, eight, eight, and I have a lucky and a redraw. And I pass. Hooray. Hooray, it's waylaid. And that was one. that was clicks two and three because um, of the stupid prismatic shit. Yep. And last action i think i have nothing to do that is useful at all so uh i will take a resource is it better to draw a card now so you have uh i guess that means there's a chance you draw your weakness uh because you're gonna take that horror either way so would you, or would you but then your skulls are worse too so uh, I mean, I guess the plus side is like I, a fair number of my cards are like guts and stuff and courages. Actually, no, because uh, some of those got removed. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna. Can I not search this? Oh, tabletop simulator. This whole time has been like uh... locked it in your discard pile or something. No, it's fine. Um... Well, I think I'm just going to draw yeah. a card. So yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, what you're yeah. Last action. Yep. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna just click for money. I'm gonna move here. I drew two cards. I move last action, and I play Knowledge's Power, which I drew. Ooh. Which I'm really drawing to. Wow. The 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 perfect shit. 
unfortunately, uh, uh, so I'm at uh, I'm at a four or I'm at a seven versus three. I have to take a horror to kill Mr. Rook. Uh, I have nothing I can commit. Do you have anything you can commit? I do. Well, do you want? <laughs> if you wanted me to have drawn a card for that purpose, it's, I, it's too late. Yeah. Um, you pass. You pass on skulls. Yeah, and I don't feel like committing anything. Uh, so yeah, I guess I just just test that. Go for it. Heart of, the, heart of the tokens. Yeah. Um, nope. All right. Oof. Sad. Yep. Yeah. All right. Uh, oops. Enemy phase. Nothing happens. Yep. Uh, I'll keep. <laughs> no, Leo. So, Leo, I always forget the timing of this. I take the horror before I draw or after I draw? After. After okay. you shuffle your deck. Yep. Also, bad news, we can't uh, win. Uh, what's up? Oh, damn it. Wait, are you serious? <laughs> oh, yeah. So. Can you pass the investigate go. somehow? Oh, I, I, no, I, we can we can still win. I can leave. I, I leave at the end of the investigation phase. Oh, so. perfect. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, but, there's still other ways we could die, of course, but... Um, yeah. Oh, sorry. I think I forgot to take a horror from something. Uh, oh, yeah. The, the, there was a Dreamlands Eclipse. Oh, I just, I just drew a Guts. Would have committed it to you, but you still wouldn't have passed. All right. Yeah. Uh, encounters? Or Doom and then Encounters? Yeah. Doom... Right, all set. <laughs> all right. Well, we can't get that. We can't get the two victory. Uh, yeah, I guess not. We were, like, we were we were within a only like three failures in the bag draw for it though, so yeah. Um, I would say this does not augur super well for our ability to get all the signs. But we, we we did have really crappy luck this game in a bunch of ways. Yeah. Um. Actually, do I want to? Uh. I was trying to figure out if there was some way I could succeed. Investigate, succeed at investigating the Dream Gate. Uh, move to the Chitta Path, and also write a seeking this somehow. That's a no. Uh, if only you'd been able to kill the Mister Rook, I think we would have been in much better shape. Well, no, I would have. I would have dug with Mister Rook, or I would have drawn this weakness, which would well, have been fine. Or wait, wait a minute. Can you this turn while you're there? Can you play the other Mr. Rook, try to find the other Knowledge's power? Oh, no, because you, you don't pop out till the end of Investigator Phase. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's, we'll no, there's no way you can successfully investigate? Uh, oh, actually... Uh, that's fine. It's a huge bummer. I think... Uh, it's because we were very close to actually getting it all despite some really crappy luck but we had because it was literally the only way you failed was the minus five the cultist and the yeah it was a it was a one in six chance of failure yeah which is whatever it's gonna happen sometimes um so yeah i mean no i i think we should just finish out the turn and spend the clues and that's it unless uh, uh i mean I mean, I can try to escape from here. I think I have I have another knowledge of power in my deck. Um, you can't. This is, so you, this you can't. You can't pass with right of seeking your location. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Um, I mean, I'm only at a seven versus six, so I could try. And you need uh, to not get a spooky symbol. Yeah. Well, I I can play Mr. Rook, use him to get a card. Um, I could get a knowledge of power, or I could get um, a John to, or no, John to play. I could get. Um, I mean, you're you're gonna want to play Mr. Rook anyway, right? Because you need to get a card that. Oh, actually, I have to play Mr. Rook so I don't die if I don't get out of here. So, 
I go first, I guess. I play Mr. Rook. Or actually, do you have the stream back up yet? Yeah, I think so. Can you check Tail, this? Up tabletop? Yeah, oh yeah. Okay. So, play Mr. Rook. Cost three. I search the top nine cards in my deck. Astounding Revelation is one of those dumb swarms. Um, so, there's no... The read the signs is on the bottom. Um, I could take a Courage or an Uncage, or I could take Knowledge's Power. So, if you take the Courage or the Uncage, then you probably can't... Um... Oh, wait, hang on. Can I get those clues? Can you survive the swarms? I cannot because I think the prismatic the prismatic phenomenon stack. Okay. So to play, what I would need to do to get them is I would need to play the look what I found, um, which means that that would take three actions. So I can't do that and evade the guys and. Uh, I could take shortcut as my card. But you, then I then I can move you back. But you don't you don't come back until the end of investigation. Yeah, I'd have to try to succeed at right as well hang, hang on hang on one one last thing so what if if my top card is intel report <laughs> then i'm, I'm two dollars short i can't do it <laughs> if i could have your ability for a turn to play this look what happens <laughs> no because the only the only way that i the, the only way i'd be able to do this is like if it wasn't, if I didn't have two prismatic phenomenons, I guess no, because yeah. I, I would need to move, evade the Zoogs, get the clues, and move back. And oh, and I don't have Leo anymore, so no, we definitely can't do it. Let's let's just quit. We've been doing this for a long time. I'm hungry. <laughs> start start a good attitude, Dad. Uh, if then then travel back in time and don't draw the cultists, if you're mad about it. <laughs> uh, all right. I think I take the knowledge of power. Um. Why, why do you care about this? This doesn't matter. What? Because I, I can try to escape the dream gate. Um, oh. What? I can use uh, Red of Seeking. And, um, even even if you shortcutted me there, it doesn't help us. What? Well, no, but I can use Knowledge as Power to get the clues from here. I can try that again. Oh. If, if, if I can flip over the dream gate, then I can Knowledge as Power if my turn doesn't end. So, yeah. Um, disconnected from tabletop simulator again ooh. so do you notice this happening because when i play tabletop simulator with my work friends i would say about once every session the tabletop simulator game crashes yeah that, happens. that seems really bad right it's not ideal all right well i i haven't actually gotten disconnected yet i don't know if we can save uh, i'll save pictures Well, this will give us more time to think about how I can pass this test. My name is Nate, and my best friends is Jared, Nick, and Marcus. We're all at least 20. <laughs> someone's, someone's saying stuff in chat. That's one of the things that they're saying. Uh, is it Dane? No, no he, he said it was Nate. Um, Alright, uh, I guess... Uh, whenever Dane gets back in... Um, so I, I guess I, I try to draw a card, then I try to write a Seeking once, and hope, hope it's a card I can commit, this like is a cage or something. Do whatever you want, just do it fast. I, get, I gotta wait for you to get back in, so that people can see it. I'm back in. Um, I'm going to draw a card. Uh, it is something I can commit, um, so I guess I will commit it. Uh, I am at an eight versus a oh, six. Sorry, really quick. How many? What? Which which click is this? You played Mr. Rook, then you drew. Yep. Okay, so this yeah. is yeah, last action. Is is last action. Yep. Yep. Uh, so I'm at. I'm only at two above. I fail on skulls. Uh, unless I can get rid of something, which I can't. Uh, so I'll say one on the pendulum. And see what we draw. Ha ha! <laughs> All right. So now, now I can fail expertly on um, on um, 
using the knowledge of power. So I turned to an end, and I can use the knowledge of power, and I get, I get to flip this over. So I've never actually investigated the pointless reality. What happens when I do? Wow, first time. Successfully great. investigate it, flip it. Okay, great. Um, so now I'll try to knowledge of power the enchanted woods. This is also a. Oh, what did I succeed by? Probably not by one, right? Uh, no. All right, so I'm at uh, seven versus four. And. Ha! <laughs> Uh, I hope you uh, hope you have your camera focused on these draws. Uh, uh, I'm kind of checked out at this point. God damn it! <laughs> um, all right. Um, yeah, I mean, and that's my turn. So at the end of the investigation phase, I'll pop up here. We can spend the clues during the enemy phase action window. So do whatever the fuck you want. Just don't die. Yeah, really? Do, should I do also do some kind of ridiculously <laughs> complicated thing with my turn for no reason? <laughs> for, uh, for no reason. It was worth two victory. No, it, it made sense. <laughs> Uh, Just pass it your turn if you're if you want to go get a taco or whatever. <laughs> I move here. I do. Why? I exhaust track shoes. I attempt to. Okay, I succeed on track shoes. I move back, and then I do not spend the rest of my actions. I'm just trying to get some exercise. The the gyms are closed in real life. I gotta I gotta exercise. You can, in spend, the game. You can spend an action to get one money. <laughs> Okay, that, well, no, because I don't have Leo anymore. I, ben, I only, oh. ben I, I, I only have two actions left. I can't be taking a resource. That's too, way too many actions. Uh, I hate this card, man. This card sucks. Um, yeah. If I had upgraded to ward, I could ward it, but I didn't. It's, yeah. All right, so end of investigation phase. I pop out here heroically. <laughs> bunch of, a bunch of moon berries in hand. <laughs> um, I like to think that you're oh, sorry. Covered. I like to think that you're covered in, um, like, ectoplasm or something. Like, you're covered uh, actually, in, like, very strange-smelling, like, bright pink neon the, goo uh, from the dream world, you know? Yeah, uh, the moon tree description says, The Council of Sages, recognizing the uh, the visitor, offer a gourd of fermented sap so, uh, from a haunted tree. So I'm probably just covered in sap. <laughs> I, okay, here's here's my headcanon for how this goes down. Wendy's like, oh, interesting. Could I try some of that? And Luke's like, no, it's not for kids. And immediately drinks all of it and then just trips balls for the next, like, 48 hours. Because that's, right. that's, like, straight up ayahuasca or something. Like, it's, I don't know, that's something really weird. That That's, like, drugs that you can only get when you're, like, in an environment that is basically, like, already a trip all the time, even if you're not on drugs. Yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah, flip this over. As you near the edge of the woods, more of the rodent-like creatures emerge, swarming out of the burrows and honeycomb trees. Soon, the whole forest is alive with them. They surround you and cheer in a language you somehow understand. Intruders! They are with the cats! New dreamers! No! They followed the black cat! But the black cat is not here! We are many. They are few. Several of them emit low growls and begin to close in. Just then, you hear a human voice call out. What is the meaning of all this? The owner of the voice is a blonde young man with an unfazed expression. He is flanked by a pack of angry cats, each of whom falls into step behind him save for one scarred old cat who takes the lead. You realize that the man speaks not to you, but to the creatures all around you, who slink backwards as they are scolded. Then, to your ever-growing surprise, the scarred cat speaks. Your tribute is late! Uh, we have to decide if we want to step back and watch the serene, serial scene play out, or interrupt the scarred cat and handle this yourself. Pick, uh, uh, we'll pick whatever min-maxes our chances of getting all the signs of the gods. Next scenario. Or beating uh, the boss in the fourth scenario. I mean, uh, those are different things, but we're, we're going to let the zoos. We're going to step in and interrupt, which is resolution two. Um, you hold up a hand to the new visitors, believing that you can defuse the situation on your own. Uh, had you known these rodent like creatures were intelligent all along, you might have tried to communicate with them much earlier. You inform them that you are just travelers in this faraway land and that you can simply, simply wish to pass through peacefully. The creatures chitter among themselves for a moment. They are kind! They're not with the black cat after all. Summon the Council of Sages! After a short while, several more of them appear, each with a withery gray fur, <laughs> each with a withering gray fur in uh, a frail, thin body. So, so the Council of Sages at the boot tree were a bunch of zooks. <laughs> that gave me the sap. <laughs> uh, this, this tracks. The eldest one peeks behind you and states that they will aid you if you get the cats to leave. Somehow, you continue your disbelief and politely ask the cats to come back another time. All right, the scared cat replies, but you ain't seen the last of us. The cats retreat into the edge of the woods, though their human companion stays behind with you. Once the cats are out of earshot, one of the elders offers you a gourd of what appears to be fermented tree sap, which you accept graciously. <laughs> Luke, chugs, Luke chugs it down. Um, it, is the, uh, it is the wine of the moon tree, the man behind you explains quietly, stepping forward. 
The Zooms do not give such gifts lightly. They are curious creatures, but not without wisdom. Now you may speak freely with their elders. Try asking them a question. They might know more of the dealings of this land than you might think. Luke, uh, uh, Luke, Luke spends the next 16 hours uh, just like kind of like, you know, just staring into space, like just completely out of his gourd, perceiving uh, time as space, space as colors, colors as sounds, and sounds as like textures. And, uh, you know, it's, it, it's 16 hours, but to him it feels like uh, 100 years. You know, it's like, uh, yeah. Uh, it's kind of like how Dan feels as I continue to read this. Uh, you st- you describe the author Virgil Gray and ask the Zooks if they have seen a man fitting that description pass through these woods. You add that he would have walked this path many times. A hush falls over the Zooks, and some of them immediately depart into the deep foil- foliage. Um, we have we have met this human, one of the elders replies, the flutter just louder than a whisper. He often comes this way. He is kind but foolish. Take the road to Ulthar. You may meet him. Then it adds with a growl. But beware, the cat that follows him. All cats are liars, but the black cat especially. You think the ancient zoo for its wisdom and depart, led by the blonde man at his feline consort. Uh, or escort, not consort. <laughs> um, the cat eyes you suspiciously after you disco- your discussion with the zoos. The man breaks the tension. If you are heading to Ulthar to find your- this friend of yours, allow me to guide you there. It is a safe place, relatively speaking. There you may recover from your travels. Zooks? Talking cats? This can't all be a figment of your imagination. Somehow you see a layer of truth beneath all this absurdity. For better or worse, the zoo cancel has confirmed your, the reality of your situation. The dreamlands are real, and Virgil Gray is here. Um, so you're probably with the Zoogs. Um, someone gets to add, add Randolph, expert dreamer to the deck. Which I think, we, you're, I think you're gonna do, because he's useless to me. You can decide if you want him or not. I mean, I'll probably just commit him, but yeah. Yeah. Um, and then we move on to the interlude. Oh, we get victory, which, uh, if I recall correctly, if you get all the victory, I think it's 13. Uh, yes. Um, and then uh, because Dane Harrison already did the B-side, we will read our part of the interlude now, and they can read their part uh, at the beginning of their next stream. So... Um, so, as you travel out of the Enchanted Woods, you pass through rolling green meadows under a bright blue cloudless sky. You speak with the blonde-haired man, who introduces himself as Randolph Carter, for several hours along your journey south. You pass through a town Randolph calls Near, and over a stone bridge spanning a wide river. Since the man seems friendly and knowledgeable about both your world and this one, you explain to him your situation. That you had followed the writings of a man named Virgil Gray to reach the strange land, in order to see for yourself the truth of his story. There is a place in Ulthar where you may yet meet this man yourself, Randolph responds. When we reach Ulthar, I will show you. The town of Ulthar is not quite what you had imagined. The border of the town is marked by a cobblestone road separating its quaint cottages from the rolling green meadows beyond. Inside the town, narrow cobbled streets are filled almost to pass you with cats of all kinds and colors, which part as you approach. Old peaked roofs and overhanging upper stories arch over the hilly streets. The entire village seems a haphazard cluster of homes and old-fashioned businesses. As you reach the town square near the center of the village, Randolph stops, stops and addresses you with a youthful smile. Welcome to Ulthar, he proclaims. As I mentioned before, you are quite safe here. There is but one paramount law to keep in mind as you traverse this place. In the town of Ulthar, no one may kill a cat. Given how utterly packed the streets are with cats, you wonder aloud if this is indeed a count- town run by cats. Not quite, Randolph replies, pondering your words, though I suppose one might call it the center of cat society here in the dreamlands. The reason for that law's existence is a story for another time. First, come. I have a feeling we will find this Virgil fellow you speak of at in ours. Uh, Randolph leads you through the town square, which is surrounded by buildings adorned with cat motifs in the form of statues, signs, and even stained glass windows. You eventually arrive at one in such building, bearing a sign that reads, Ennard's Place. Inside is a medieval-style tavern filled with long wooden tables. You spot several patrons and three times as many cats. One such patron at the wooden counter feeds one of the cats small strips of dried meat. He's a handsome man in his early 30s, with short dark hair, a strong jaw, and sharp cheap bones. You recognize him instantly as the writer Virgil Gray. In the back of your mind, you wonder if this chance meeting is merely an act of fortune or something preordained for good or for ill. Regardless, you approach the man and, and introduce yourself along with Randolph. Virgil shakes your hand and Randolph's with a joyful smile. Well met, fellow dreamers, the writer says, a hint of boyish excitement in his voice. It is wonderful to meet fellow believers. I have become so sick and tired of reading about my supposed illness in the papers. 
You nod your head in agreement. Inform Virgil that you intend to find some proof of this discovery uh, to bring back to the waking world. Don't you think I tried that? He replies, stymied. Luke holds up his camera, points at the pictures. Uh, sadly, it is impossible for one to, uh, who is asleep to bring anything from this realm into the real world. It is all imagination, you see. Ideas, concepts, fantasies. You can't hold a thought in your hands, can you? Randolph interjects. There is a place within the dreamlands that may hold proof, the proof that you seek. I have seen it in my dreams. I visited there three times, each time just a fleeting moment before I was snatched away by the rising sun. I try as I might, I cannot find the way again. I have spent many nights searching. Oh? Virgil asks, intrigued. And what is this place? It is a marvelous city, he describes, his eyes aglow with wonder, golden and lovely like nothing I have seen before or since. A city beyond the peaks of the unknown mountain Kadath, where no one has ever set foot before. There, veiled within the clouds and crowned by stars, lies the onyx castle of the great old ones. Virgil idly pets the cat on the countertop next to him as he absorbed, is absorbed by Randolph's tail. It is a slender creature with l uh, luscious back for fur, uh, dark as the void of space itself. Then we must find this place, even if it does not have the proof we seek. It sounds like the adventure of a lifetime, enough to fill a hundred pages or more. You tell Virgil and Randolph that before you commit to such an adventure, you must return to the waking world and tell your companions about your experience. Just then, another voice, cryptic and quiet, chimes. Oh, you can't wake up. The eye is upon you now. You and the others spin your heads around, searching for the source of the voice. The barkeeper? Another patient? Then Virgil's black cat touches and sits up, its piercing yellow eyes reflecting the light of the sun through the window outside. I have waited a long time for you to see a Kadath, it says. You, you can talk, Virgil says, nearly topping over his stool as he jumps to surprise. I'm a cat, you dolt. Of course I can talk, the cat, black cat replies, licking its paw out of boredom. You have met a thousand cats in Wolfar, and now you are surprised? But I thought... Virgil wipes his brow with his palm. Never mind him, the black cat says, addressing you directly. I assure you, you cannot cross back into the waking world until you find Kadath. It is your only way out. In the meantime, I will return and tell your companions about the quest ahead of you. It hops off the town top and walks confidently towards the exit. Though, I imagine their task will be even more arduous. Um, what shall I tell your friends in the waking world? Uh, Why don't you tell them to go pound sand? <laughs> Why don't you tell them to go take a hike, cat? Why don't you tell them to go jump in a lake? So uh, we're gonna, yeah, they they abandoned us. So we're gonna have to tell them, tell them about our plight, um, and then uh, the cats would come back and help us. I think. Yeah, so, uh, we, we need it. We need a good token, even if it's only kind of a good token, because it still makes Ben lose all of his actions on Red of Seeking. <laughs> that does do that. Yeah. So we're gonna tell companions of your quest, your plight, and your peril. Black Cat will return once your message is delivered. This may place an undue burden on your companions. They'll be fine. There's Zoe and Ursula. This should be great. They, they gave us a minus five. It's the, you know, they, they, they had it coming. Yeah. Um, record the Black Cat. Deliver news of your flight. So this will give us a squid token, I think. Uh, I'll check that later. Which, for once in the lifetime of this game, is not bad. Yeah. Uh... Yep, so Dane and Harrison, I'm sure, will lead, lead their part of the story. Uh, Come on, you, you, guys saw, you guys saw how tough this was. We, we, we just barely made it, right at the end. Right at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I yes. think it, it, it would have been funny if I had taken my turn first on the last round, because then it would have been like, as of when we used up our last action, we still didn't have all the clues. But then, like... Uh, well, that's, that's definitely why I went first, in hopes that... <laughs> I could do something. Yep. Uh, all right. So yeah, that's it for this first scenario. Um, thanks for anyone that, that stuck with us even through that last hour where Dan disconnected like five times. Um, I, I'm sure I, we're I, I, I would like to clarify this a little bit. <laughs> Two of those were just tabletop simulator being stupid and or Steam actually. And in those occasions, the stream was still going. So people still got to enjoy hanging out with us. Only one of those yep. occasions my computer blue screened. That one, that one, sure, that one's on me. But yeah, um, I guess I guess if anyone's still here, we did want to mention uh, Farcom, uh, Farcom Con, which is a event as a replacement Gen Con that the Mythosbusters are organizing. Uh, there's a bunch of unique.